Hello folks, and welcome to this edition of Boston Bluebeat. Uh, we are V2.4, this is our fourth Guilty Gear Accent Core bracket this year. Um, we are starting uh, this week again, we are remembering the passing of uh, local uh, Tekken legend, the bad guy, uh, Henny. Um, he was unfortunately killed in an act of racial violence. Um, and uh, it's been amazing to see the outpouring of support that the FGC has shown this man. Uh, shown his family. Um, it's been it's been really heartwarming. But there is always uh, more that can be done. Um, we would appreciate any donations. You know the idea of a, if you are feeling like you want a tip, a venue fee, anything like that. Um, you know you can either give us a sub like Cyber Number Blue did. We appreciate that very much. But just as much would be appreciated if you could donate to the GoFundMe for Henny's family. Um, with that said, we are here at the end of the day for some good good guilty gear. So I'm going to throw it over to our commentators for the day, uh, and I'm going to hand it off to them. Let's rock! Counter! Counter! 
select your character. Look at this wise individual. That's a GG's, GG's. That wall loop was cool though. That's that's all I got. Select your character! Let's 
down on burst, burst and both of them one hit away from death uh, but undertow is currently up around throwing out those Takami mats just trying to get a hit oh and wheel takes the round against undertow very good anti-air absolutely what's the round start both players back as or uh instant air back uh neither of them really wanting to be the, the ones to go on offense oh but undertow gets wheel into the corner Commentary is fixed? Rad. Uh, well, apparently we had commentary problems, but we are back. Uh, and we are here to see Undertow, who is uh, firmly in the driver's seat of this round, just one round away from taking it over wheel. That is a ton of damage. Damn, yeah. Just one more hit, and Undertow takes it over wheel 2-0. to zero. And, uh, yeah, Undertow takes over Wheel. Let me check to see what our next match is. Next match should be... Looks like that is the, the end of our round one matches, uh, so we have a round two matches coming up. Looks like it's going to be Skeletal Minion versus the winner of Shadow Fury vs. FGC Stone. Weird. We are still quite early in this tournament. We have a lot of great Guilty Gear matches for you tonight. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll be back. Right. Oh, and it looks like I now have a match to play too, but I will wait until Flack is back for that. Hello, hello. Hello. How'd your games go, Craig? Eh, you know, I'm impressed by Gorgovich's uh, testament, for sure. He's playing really, really strong. Rad. Got some good stuff. Also, EXE Beast um, is gross, and I hate it. <laughs> anyway. 
<laughs> I, I think there would be a lot of Guilty Gear players that agree with you on that. Oh, yeah. I forget what interaction happened that made me, like, say out loud, wow, fuck that move to myself in my apartment, but there was one. <laughs> There's always one. Oh, and it looks like we've got Lennox vs. Uh, Vicky Viper next. Ooh, that'll be fun. Absolutely. <clears throat> Vicky definitely put him on a, a fun performance last week, so I'm looking forward to seeing some more of that there game for them. Absolutely. Uh, looks like Lennox is asking for the stream lobby thing. Let's uh, copy that and post it. Oh, JMD's got me beat. Thank you, JMD. JMD. All over it. Shoutouts to RTO. Yeah, I have like I have three monitors. It's going very well. <laughs> yeah, doing all this on one monitor is a little tricky, but forget that. Yes. Oh, and we've got both of our players here. They're ready to get into it. Yeah, ready to uh, watch some great Guilty Gear. Everyone, everyone grinding matches for uh, Frosty Faustings this weekend. We've got 450 plus players. Please, yeah, that is a massive yeah. tournament. Like. Turns out when you uh when you give your game rollback, we can run good online events. Absolutely. Well, let's Ooh. see what we got here. Ooh, chip. We've got Kyber's chip. Chip. I do not. We do not see that frequently uh in these matches. He's not that popular of a character, but Chip is very strong in this version of the game. Like, and just an absolutely like high risk situation, of course, because Chip bleeds so hard when taking any hit. Yep, Chip has the uh has the lowest defense in the game. Uh, and Vicky Viper, very, very prominent Kai player. Look at this damage. Oh, oh no! Gotta shake really out of the- Lennox Oh no! Is not, is not shaking out of the, the six heavies. Ooh, that- you, you gotta shake out of that. You should only be getting oh. one or two of those. Ooh. Yeah, I- And a it's commanding always, perfect always, from yeah. Vicky Viper. You always gotta wonder with a player if you're used to, you know, an action core. If I'm not mistaken, you can only- you actually have to shake out with movement, not, like, mashing buttons as well. Right? Yep, you, like, yes, yeah. you want to, uh... So if you're coming from somewhere else. Uh, also, I- oh, yep, Vicky realizing that he is- that Lennox is not good at, uh, shaking out, so, uh, she is punishing him for it. Yeah, more than happy to take advantage of the situation, but yeah, you gotta, like, as was pointed out in chat, you gotta use diagonals to really get that get that mashing in. Absolutely. Uh, also, JMD, it looks like we have it's one one right now. Where's a game played off stream? Please select your character. Ah, uh, did not reset properly. All right, so we are one zero. <laughs> yep, we're figuring it out. I do like the overlay. It's very nice. Yes, it is a very nice overlay. I would like to give a big shout out to uh, Michael Dink for the new overlay, by the way. It's very cool. It fits long names. Truly appreciate it. Alright, here we go. Alright, Lennox in chat pointing out that they're taking in that knowledge about shaking out of move. So, we uh, gotta apply that data here. Let's go. But Vicky, very strong player. She uh, she should still definitely be in this, even if Lennox is able to to shake out. Yeah, you know, we take the lessons we can get uh, to get them, though. You know, absolutely. That's, what... that's that's the great thing about gear. There's always more to learn. Absolutely. So, yeah, Lennox. Oh, swinging, can't trying to get something started. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't shake out when you're in the air. Oh. Vicky Shaw is commanding over uh, Lennox. Uh, Not giving Lennox room to breathe or a chance to react. Wonder if Ooh. it is matchup inf bleh, infamiliarity on Lennox's side. Hard work. Indeed. I have to imagine that I'm an Chip must player. have. I don't know this. Yeah, Chip must have some kind of options that are quick enough to. There we go. To interrupt some of this pressure, but if you don't know the right gaps, it's tough. Absolutely. And Vicky just not giving Lennox any space. But there we go. Found a found a gap. Signs Escaped the corner. But Signs of life, but ooh, gets tagged by the low. This is going to do a ton of damage. Oh yeah. And set up the steel overhead first. Ooh. Chip with the I best one in the game. <laughs> yeah, I was partially wondering if that steel over his head was going to interrupt that burst, but all well. Or at least cause trouble with it. Absolutely. Oh, ooh, the the he sidesteps into the corner. And Vicky ta uh, takes a 2 0 over Lennox. Power, powerful performance there by Vicky. Lennox, you know, just learning even through it within that set, and you know that's that's all we're, that's what we're always here for. Absolutely, and it looks like up next we have Skeletal Minion versus FGC Stone. 
Ooh, Skeletal Minion, Evo Champion. <laughs> uh, has shown up to a few of our events. I believe has won every single one he's been to. So definitely the favorite Skeletal. to win. Yeah, Skeletal has no longer undefeated in sets in Blue Beat, however. Um, so you never know. We, this, this, the community is trying its best <laughs> to defend territory against Skeletal Minion. Absolutely. Let's see what we do here. Uh, and if oh, that yeah. doesn't work, we have to figure out how to get Skeletal Minion to move to New England so that he'll. Damn! Look, the yeah, there we go. We can claim Skeletal at some point. <laughs> also, shout out to both of these players for breaking the overlay with their um, win loss record. They have played so many games. Outstanding. Absolutely. All right. Well, I mean, two players that have put this much time in. It will be very exciting to see this play out. As we, you know, as is common, commonly brought up with Skeletal Minion matches, Abba is you know. A matchup that kind of you know where you don't, and you can definitely get blown the heck up if you don't know what you're expecting. And Skeletal knows exactly how to make you pay, so let's see what Stone's got. Uh, Furok saying he's willing to kiss anyone who will slash back Skeletal Minions Goku Moroha install. Um, we'll see maybe, if that, well, maybe Stone first in line to give it a go. Uh oh. Oh. Is Stone thinking, or is the lobby broken? Oh, there we go. Looks like Stone is thinking. Stone is here. We're good. Stone just taking a breath. We got hit by that breath. lobby option select. That's a ghost. Oh no. Oh no, did the lobby break? <laughs> nope, we're good. Uh, Dang, Johnny, Johnny versus Ab. All right. Absolutely. Uh, Johnny, well known in Exert for being uh, generally considered the best character in that game. A little weaker in this game, but still still a contender. And Abba... Ooh, and a uh, gold burst right out the gate to get the meter to work with. Abba, unique to uh, has only been in a few Guilty Gear games, but she is quite a strong character. Donzaiing through the the Inkasu. Good movement to get the cross up, but dead angles out. Nice. Absolutely. Oh, gets the sweep. Gonna have to transform back, but Goku Moroha. Goku Moroha. Has reset that is the other off. option. And here comes the damage. Goku Moroha. This will carry all the way to the. Oh, not quite. Decked out. Nope, Johnny, uh, rather difficult to combi, or combo. He is, uh, heavy and a little thin. Guilty Gear, very, very character-specific on his this? combos. I am amazed that he's still comboing. Wow, this is an optimistic burst. Oh, and doesn't quite pay off. Mm. And now FGC Stone with outburst and, uh, down around. Not the place you want to be in. Gets around hard sweep, but that coin does not hit. Nope, Abba longest no uh, has the longest wake-up timing in the game. I wonder if FGT Stone was trying to get the coin to hit Eevee, but just mm, missed it. Such an adjustment with different wake-up timing. Alright, well, Skelp off to the strong start. Plenty of meter left. Activates Goku. Okay, oh, the Goku uh, gets her health back, and this is going to do a pile of damage. Yeah, you're not dead, oh, but you will setup. be if you get hit again, will be and dead. that'll do it. Yep. Ooh. That does it. Skeletal takes the first game over FGC Stone. Absolutely, and this is what this is the kind of play that we've gotten used to seeing from Skeletal Minion. Just get that Goku Muraha activated and just run run through you. So absolutely, you know, Stone definitely was had some signs of life going here and there. I definitely, I and mean, you know that Johnny is capable of laying out that damage. So all he's got to do is get it out. <laughs> hold off this key wielding monstrosity for a little while. Oh, I love Abba's pretty much. I, I really like Abba. I, I would oh, like to grab him back. Ooh, and uh, we get an early Maroha. And, yeah. uh, oh, stream being a little funky on my screen. Throwing down a little bit. Max the risk gauge on Johnny's side, which is going to be real tough. Okay, oh, uh, okay, game is having some problems. Looks like the game is probably going to crash. Oh, and the lobby and could not the handle lobby it. lobby explodes. Oh boy. I mean, if the lobby breaks, I don't think either player is able to take the game. No. Unfortunately. <laughs> Gotta slash back that lobby break. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Skeletal Man up one, yeah. and Guilty Gear Lobby is also up one. Yeah, this lobby is definitely, like, even struggling to get to tell us that it is broken. <laughs> <laughs> but we will have the lobby back up rather shortly.
We're restarting everything. Bear with us, folks. The game has taken some updates, and it feels like it's getting a bit more, sta a bit stabler. But you know, this is <laughs> the lobbies were kind of reverse engineered in from the Switch version. Yeah. Hold back all the way to the menu. <laughs> I really hope that me using like five seconds of the Curb Your Enthusiasm theme or whatever doesn't get this whole video copyright stricken. <laughs> oh no! It's gonna happen. That would be terrible. I'm checking to see where Flak's at in his round. Because my opponent is waiting for me. Proton, I want to say? Yeah, I believe so. Well, Skeletal Minion back in the lobby. Indeed. Bear with me, I'm doing a little bit of bracket updating. Absolutely. Uh, JMD, mind throwing that string back? What'd you say? I was just asking if you mind throwing the, the stream back on for commentary. Oh, did it not automatically repop? Uh, nope. Not. not on Discord. Oh, looks like Flack is done with this game, so uh, he will be replacing me very shortly. And now attempt number three. Uh, the lobby is now two one to one to zero against these players. It's a tough matchup. It's <laughs> you can't really lab against it because it's so unpredictable. Only the developers can lab against it. Don't give them any ideas. <laughs> the adjustment they'll make is taking rollback out. All right, and now that Flack is back, I'm going to hop off commentary and go play my match. Oh, welcome back, Flack. Oh, I just played the closest set. It went three rounds, every game, three games. Last round, we had, like, one life. I get counter hit Fafnir, and then I die to Kai's force break uh, uh, star thingy trying to convert from counter hit Fafnir. Well, congratulations to Froton. It's rewards time to play nuclear cheese, but we're back in it. So, resuming a match already in progress, Skeletal Minion one up, one game up over FGC Stone, and before multiple lobby breaks in a row, we're getting back into it. Alright, goes for the round star coin, doesn't hit, but does get a hit afterwards. Goes for the coin grab and gets hit out of it, or the key grab. And Johnny's moving now. Oh, there's Rokka. Rock is high on, but... Ooh, gold first too. For real high active is, but... Too far for the unblockable. Dead angle has plenty of meter to spend, so might as well use the dead angle to just try to get get some space because Johnny can't control it. But this is not what Stone is looking for. Key grab, then key grab. Okay. Yeah. Hey, refill that meter. And now Goku Moroha can happen at any time, and there it is. And now this is going to hurt a whole bunch, but I don't believe it's death. But yeah, I don't really unless there's a good wake up, this. <laughs> One more hit could do it. Oh, another burst. Ooh, goes for the force break, but gets grabbed out of it. Close. Er, Stone was in control for a lot more of that round than in game one, but Skeletal Minion's still able to make it happen. Gets an opportunity. Alright, taking the combo in the corner. Nice stuff. Ooh, that high coin hit so, so late. That was sick. Right. Oh, dodges the dead angle and gets a throw with Roha activated. This is going to be scary. Oh, you, yeah, you got him knocked out of the wreck of Tiger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that. Oh, Goku Roha blowing up. 
gets the response, and now any hit will do this for Skelp on that. Oh! Dunzai through the burst! That's disgusting. Oh, yep, yep. Can't do that in Blaze Blue, but you can in this game. Yeah. Oof. That is extremely brutal. But, you know, Stone is already adjusting. That's where that was looking pretty... Looking more more and more competitive as it went, but Skeletal Minion is still one heck of a player. He's able to take that 2-0. Let me take a look at the bracket and see what we are working with. Updating bracket stuff. Bar bear with me. Yep, 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 yep. Let's see. What do we got next? We Froton Up cheese. next, Nuclear Cheese versus Froton. We got that Guilty Gear Classico, Soul versus Kai. So, Flack, you just uh, ran a very competitive set against Froton. What can you tell us about Froton as a player, just from that experience? Um, I really got? liked setting up the uh, Force Break Air Star thingy. Uh, just a lot of that move. Oh, and right. loves to do cross-up greed sever. Hit me with that a ton of times. All right, so I'm. Um, we know from any uh, any blue beat local or viewer of any time, especially with, that you know is familiar with Nuclear Cheese's playstyle. There is unbridled aggression. Even though Nuclear Cheese himself has said that he's attempting to be a little bit less wild, the the nature is still there. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean player, what do you expect? Yeah, I mean, Froton's going, like, you know, you can cross up Greed Sever all you want, but a million Volcanic Vipers may very well be waiting for you. Well, if you cross Let's up Greed Sever early enough, it'll mess with the inputs. This is going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes. Well, we're holding on a bit while, <clears throat> excuse me, while Froton gets into this lobby. And hey, I just learned something today from the chat. I guess Abba was in fact designed by the Blaze Blue lead, Mori. That's cool. Oh, interesting. According to the chat, which I believe, because why not? When is the internet? When is Twitch chat ever lied to me? Oh, good. I didn't know you were Boston Bluebeat currently. I am. I am currently Boston Bluebeat. Hi, JMD, Boston Bluebeat. You are the tournament. Hanging in there. Proton's on his way, folks. Thanks for uh, thanks for bearing with us. But yeah, hopefully Proton is ready for the uh, <laughs> all the riot stamps and Grand Vipers and Volcanic Vipers. And Kai's got some options, so you know, like it's just a lot of the things that we see Kai players do. You know, the knockdown, what's it called, Sacred Edge, the big fireball hole, that kind of Oki situation. I mean, you're not gonna get. Nuclear trees to respect your Oki very much, so we'll see if if Froton is going to have the options needed to deal with that kind of a style. Yeah, but if you um if you do charge stun at Oki, you can just dash up FD break and see what they do, and still have time to apply some mix up. So it's probably pretty good even against reversals. Indeed. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Let's see what other matches have we got. I'm gonna take a look at some bracket. Oh, huh. That's fun to know. The loser of this match has to play me. That'll be fun. Ooh, we're gonna have some, some exciting matchups in the next round. Looking forward to see Please Tails versus Vicky in the bracket. All right, Froton has arrived. Let's get to it. As you mentioned, Kai versus Soul. The the poster boys going at it. Yes, I want to see a lot of cross of greed ever. <laughs> round start? Well, I mean, it won't be a cross of a round start. Yeah, custom intro, let's go. Yeah. Cool dude, doing cool dude shit. Alright. Air dash backwards and full air dash forward right after you, alright. The corner pressure is on. First up. Air dash right back in, gets the hit. Alright, got the knockdown. There's the cross up Grease ever blocked by the clear cheese. Yeah, dude. Ooh, and tries to set up the Sidewinder. Sidewinder once more. Ooh, but not another. 5D! To that thick Sidewinder combo that we've seen from Cheese from time to time. 
The 5D Sidewinder variant is very, very cool. I love it. Brown Star Riots, man. Mr. Cheese is not interested in laying off one bit. Alright, alright, box for Proton here. But like, get caught by a Volcanic Viper into the Sidewinder loop. Oh, dang, I was missing Soul D Kai? Oh, that is like 50%. That is absolutely brutal. Oh, 5D from Proton, but no follow up. Looks like Proton was very convinced there was going to be a burst there. Mm, just getting and hit by a lot of stuff. Yeah. Interesting. We'll seem to have a very, very hard time with things there at the end. I'm curious if there's something going on? Like, enough. Like, it. I don't want to. No, no offense if I speak out of turn, but yes, I don't know if Froton is having some technical difficulties, because it seemed like there wasn't a lot of action being taken there at the end. Oh, yeah, no. it could be controller troubles. Could be. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, it looks like there was uh, word in the Discord that... Yes, Froton mentioned they were uh, they were waiting on a call and would have to immediately leave mid-game if it happened. Oh, I... That is, that is unfortunate. Um, yeah, Tails, now that you're back, I should go and uh, play my next match. Absolutely. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. See you guys Oh. Oh. Okay. Just because you're here. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I guess that... I guess that means that Cheese wins? That's a shame. Uh, unfortunate, yeah. Hate you, to, you, you hate to see it happen, but it's kind of the the nature, unfortunately. It is the nature of the beast tournament. Of um. All right, so we're gonna hang in there wait. with uh. Wait. Oh. No, maybe they're wait. gonna. Maybe they're gonna try to run it. Oh, it looks like it was a controller issue, not a oh, not a full. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. So it wasn't a. It wasn't actually wasn't a network issue. Yep. So, All right, uh, cool. Buttons were messed up, but they're going to give it a shot. So we will give it a shot. Flack, still, if you're still in the, the chat, hold, though. We'll run you on stream after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, it looks like the lobby broke, though. Looks like lobby exploded. <laughs> Not having the best uh, the best luck with lobbies tonight, but that is that is the nature of an online event. Indeed. Yeah, hopefully we won't have these technical difficulties when we're playing on PS3 at Locals again. Uh, can I right. the Locals? But hey, uh, if for some reason your lo your area is doing Locals, probably don't go right now. Yeah, let's, let's, let's not right now. Let's wait. Alright, so we are back in it! We are. Hopefully our technical issues are resolved, and now we're gonna, well, see what Froton can do. Absolutely. But, uh, even without controller or problems, nuclear cheese, tough hurdle to, uh, to break. Nuclear cheese is a problem. Nuclear cheese has won several of our Boston Blue Bean events, and, uh, top, I think has top three to everyone he's at. Alright, there's the 5D from Kai that does, in fact, get souls first this time. Bad. Oh, there's the counter hit Great Summer. Oh, no no oh no! no. Oh, oh, we have it. You can never tell, unfortunately. Now we have the specter of controller problems hanging over our heads. So you never know what things are, but... Absolutely. But, uh... Ooh, avoid, if it, avoiding some of the pressure. But... Oh, oh, no. Cheese oh, Pirate oh, Rave oh, RSD! Guess oh, the first hit. And to bring our nuclear cheese does not want to... Ooh! Two ages of and Love to see it, but uh, it's not quite enough. Gets yeah. hit by the JS. Yeah. All right, round start. Rise him. Tries to jump back and hit it, but does not quite get it. Again, a nice anti air on Vander Revolver. Like some of these anti airs, Proton are impressive. Proton definitely looks like they play the Soul match with consistently anti air and Souls uh, off. Ooh, was not getting a ton of converts off of it. And now, well, speaking of conversion, here's some Tidewinder for you. Boom, a headshot. Nuclear cheese special. <laughs> Alright, now big big life lead for Cheese. Oh, and this banded RC in yeah. Sidewinder. You should Oh, base the burst. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Full on JH you <laughs> wanted to throw that burst, but you know. But run up Volcanic Viper and uh Soul takes it over Froton. Excellent work by Cheese there. 
Proton hanging in there despite some technical issues. Shoutouts, always good. Oh, oh looks like got... no. Yeah, Flack, we're gonna run you and uh Cyan. Hmm. Alright. Ooh. Uh Order Soul vs. Faust coming up next. Should be a fun oh. match. Uh Cyan been playing this game for quite a while. And then after... And Faust quite strong in this game, and Flak also been grinding Indeed. for many, or for, uh, many hours with that. Oh one. yeah, Flak is just practicing and practicing and practicing. Absolutely. Alright, so that's this match. I'm reporting some things in the bracket, accidentally opening up Google Chrome help while doing so. My execution is just that good. Alright, there we go. Oh. All right. Oh, no. Flack is in the lobby. Flack is All right. Um, I don't know how many opportunities uh, Flack has had to actually play against Faust in Plus R, though. I mean, we don't really in our like local like the, the Discord group that we all have, where we play a lot of matches together. I don't believe any of us play Faust anymore. Well, I mean, in Plus R, obviously. Anybody who's played with me, I play a lot of Faust <laughs> in Exert, but not so much here. So, I mean, this is a matchup that might be a gap in Flack's knowledge, we'll see. And Faust, a very, very strong character in this yeah. game. Yeah, you can make a... I believe that it's not that difficult a case to make to call this the strongest the Faust has ever been. Uh, yeah, that He's sounds very, horrible. very, very strong. And considering how strong Faust is in Rev 2, that's saying something. But Flack is a good player, so uh, Indeed. we should have a good match on our hands. Yeah. Well, hopefully as long as we do have a match on our hands, we'll let say and get in here. Oh, I do not know where they are at. They're on the way, I'm sure. Well, I haven't even heard any... Yeah. So you also entered Frosty, correct? Oh! Uh, I did. Ian is here. There we go, Cyan Plaza. If I recall properly, Cyan Plaza running the eye searing Cyan Faust color as well. So I mean, you've got to win that. Already for that is truly unreasonable, and that's for me, somebody who appreciates weird colors. But <laughs> boy, oh boy, this one's too much. <laughs> All right, so this matchup is an interesting one. I don't know how much I say it know, every week, but I love those chibi characters on the sides. Yeah, they're so cute. Yeah, I. That is that. Black is that ice here in fast. Oh yeah. All right. Bomb is out. Gonna make it tough to tough to charge up with how much space is about to control with those big normal. Bomb is the uh, first item. Going to be hard for Flack to get in, but uh, yeah. Flack may want to take a moment. Char charge up his level. Ooh, the five Gun dust with uh, Invuln in the middle of it. Yeah, Gun blazes himself into the corner and a strong combo with the knockdown. That looked like meteors on the way out. Oh. Yep, there, there they are. are. And uh, that, that string was, I believe, unique to XX Faust. Uh, uh, Faust is able to Gatling 2D and a 2S in this game. Uh, yep, that is indeed true. Through. Yeah, you get a jump cancel into a full combo. It is extremely crazy. Oh, there's the little mini Faust. Oh, the right, oh. right side. Yeah. yeah, ooh, the KDR 5K, not quite killing. But any hit will do it. And yep, Cyan had a substantial all, life lead. Uh, all Cyan really point. needs to turn it around, but gets hit by the great shot! And the big Poppins one. floats away. Alright, well, uh, strong Cyan. start for Cyan. Just pollute the screen with nonsense, and it will be difficult for Flack to get in. But Flack can navigate a complicated neutral situation, and given an opportunity, will unload the damage. And again, Flack blocks the 5D. Ooh, uh, but get, oh, but gets the road road road. Like, ooh, super in a burst. Nothing happened there. What a weird <laughs> situation. That was wild and great, and I honestly did not know that that was bad. That's super. <laughs> uh, uh, that's fantastic. Flack pushing Cyan in the corner. This is exactly where Flack wants to be. Level yeah, 2 has a light lead. knockdown on this Ooh, and that, that counter hit should be it. Ooh. ooh. The burst doesn't connect though, so that is somewhat of a favorable situation. Uh, Flack looks like he's unfamiliar with, uh, with Pogo stance and gets tagged by the unblockable. Cyan yeah, takes up the first game against Flack. Yeah. 
Saiyan looked like they were on the ropes there for a little bit as that round was coming to a close, but recovered and made it happen. Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, Faust, I believe, another um, Gut Zero character. Although, thing I learned literally this week, uh, Faust gains gu guard bar slower than any other character in uh, XX. Well, when you're blocking with a thing, with like a spinny spout scalpel, then, you know, <laughs> you can guard for longer. I All right. don't think there's really a logic to it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Close the distance. Back, throwing some love. Press yeah, avoiding the bomb bag. But Flack has some right. in the corner. Get the counter hit out of the bag throw. Nice. Flack. Get how slow air dash. Uh, unhelpful for trying to get yourself out of the corner. Indeed. What a strong start from Black Maniac here. No, no charge, but not needed. Just gets an overhead. He's getting tagged by the gun blade. Yeah. Just covers Just... so much vertical space and a perfect for Black. Yeah. What a Black response from Black Maniac. Was this right. was this the download? Is Black now uh, realized how to deal with Cyan? Ooh, the yep. top oh, the hammer top. and the perfect overhead. Be a fair bit of damage. That, that candy bar means that I items are not going to be available for a bit, but get the Pogo, follow up the 6 Heavy, that slow overhead. Off green bomb! No, not actually. Ooh, and get the throw back in the corner. Get the throw, and there's the bomb. Gotta, yep, gotta Ooh, get away, but does not, not quite! Back. Unfortunately, Cyan uses their burst, so they will not have it. Either, uh, if they have it this round, it will not be until the end. It was the very, very end. Because it didn't, the first ult did not connect, so it'll take even longer to come back. Get another hit with the 6 age. If you're a Faust player, you love to see it, but if you're everyone else, you do not. Oh, oh Cyan blocking the gun blade. Cyan had a bit of a life lead. Yeah. Oh, gets the meteor. Oh, Pulse meteor is in the sky. This is gonna hit. Yeah, that's big damage. A ton of damage. And Run out of all the items. Gets both health recovery items. Uh, Cyan sitting at a very large yeah, life lead. Healthy lead. Yeah. This One is last chance to win for Black Maniac here. This is gonna be basically any hit does it. Ooh, predicts, oh. it off, predicts offense using that force break shot, but gets and sniped gets out of the air with the J H. And Cyan Plaza takes it over uh, Flak Maniac, 2-0. to zero. Flak showed some signs of life there, but that Cyan, you know, absolutely. And I fast, fast is real tough. That means I am up next. Yep. Uh oh. Yep. Nope, All right. It's going um, to be me and Flak rolling on commentary for a little bit, folks. Uh, Cause Craig, yeah, you got a match to run to. All right, cool. Let me pop out. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. No Absolutely. worries. Me as well. So, folks, up next we're gonna have a uh, uh, Vicky Viper uh, versus uh, Tails. So we've had a real commentary uh, round table here. Um, Uh, Flack will be joining me again soon as well. Uh, thank you again, folks. Uh, I'm here. Oh, Flack is here. Awesome. Uh, while I type out, uh, Tails is uh, extremely... Long name. They are in round three winners. Bingo, bango. There we go. Oh, and they're on the wrong sides after after all of that. All right, so this should be awesome. Uh, these two players have played each other a ton. I know uh, they played each other uh, in person as well at uh, at you know actual real in person Boston BB events. Uh, Tails consistently placing high. Um, Vicky, you know, probably one of the most well rounded uh, fighting game players. Uh, she's you know incredible at everything she touches. So. Seen her play a little earlier in this tournament, that classic Pink Kai. Nice burst there to lift the DP. Black, what do you think the keys to this matchup are for uh, for, for Vicky in particular? I feel like, you know, we've always seen Kale place top three. Uh, Vicky looking to place a little higher in this event. What do you think kind of the deal breaker for Anji is? So, you don't want to do projectile OP against Anji, because he can disrespect it with wake up auto guard mm. into an auto guard move. Um, so that's an important matchup thing to know. Also, Kai's sweep is active for 12 frames. You saw there, Sweet Fusion. Yep. Um, that's definitely something that you want to use. Um, and... Hail I haven't watched these two play that much, but... Um, yeah, just use high active moves if you want to challenge Fujin. Yeah. 
Kiki doing great here. Let's see, Oki goes to the overhead. All right, now has to block that butter uh, the butterfly. Oh, I like H that edge beating out a uh, or uh, beating out Fujin there, but six H not so much. All right, take him to the corner. Like you said there, yeah, went for some kind of projectile Oki, but it didn't work uh, either way. Hmm, okay. Bird. Nice, yep. Alright, that one. Speaking of couldn't mash out earlier, going back to that that particular well. Hmm. But if it works. Alright, oh. That's oh, that time that was time's wake up auto guard, I guess. Yeah, that time the uh the heavy the heavy sunage did work. He's great there, nice wall splat. The full knockdown. Oh, the other side. He's blocking high, I guess. Yeah. Great blocks here from Vicky, uh, but right as I say that, of course, I was about to say, Tails unable to convert into damage, but here we go. Ooh, wake up, ride the lightning. Oh, wake up, throw, okay. Yep. I've seen uh, the butterfly a lot here. First first game goes to Vicky. Um, but I, I've seen a lot here. The the butterfly has been beating uh, Wake Up DP consistently and just hitting on the way down in the air. Yes, it's very good against a lot of reversals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it can kind of hang there, and if it hits you out of the um, if it hits you after your reversals in vulnerability runs out, yeah. then usually the down part will combo, and then LG can continue. Got you, got you. Yeah, one important thing generally is knowing when you can disrespect Butterfly Oki, because some of the setups are tight and you have to like block it or backdash, but some of them are not quite and you can like jump out or just do other stuff. That was the perfect time for that DP right, that DP right there. You go to the corner so fast in this game, especially against a character like Hanji. Yeah, he's got a lot of corner carry. Also, when you're blocking the Butterfly, um, uh, you should watch what Anji's doing because sometimes you can like block the first hit and then air block the next hit. Mm -hmm. And obviously you're gonna have to pay to fall this, but at least you won't be exposed to high low during that time. That's true. Alright, yep, going for this, so yeah, this is the so there is that version of the unblockable setup there with the with the red, because that one does hit overhead. Yes. But Vicky manages to back dash and only eat a couple of hits and get out. Look at this. I'm pretty sure this is uh May that's that May combo from uh from Strive. Wow, yeah. Why, why are people, or so, the, um, people so bad about Scribe? Fafner combo? Yeah. Make a combo, you know, for, you know, for, uh, four six piece in Strive, and Kai can combo four six H's in ACR. Same game. Was that four or five six H's? I think that was four six H's into the super. My guess. All six H Vicky, they call her. <laughs> Not thrilled, though, is Tails. Nice, Tex out, not getting put in the corner, nice blocks there. Oh, and the Fujin. Oh, I thought that was back to corner with Palm, but I guess not. Yeah, I don't know if that was maybe a drop or just uh, pushing a little harder. Mm, friends meter on it. Oh, damage. nice cross up, three step there. Yeah, I assume that crossed up Anji's input or something. Wow, goes for two. What a setup. Oh, that is such a swag combo. That's amazing. And then angle out. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. Had to burst. Absolutely has to. Well, yeah. This is last. And last hit for Vicky. Yeah, very solid play. She was <laughs> just go wilding out. Those were some sick combos from Vicky, for sure. Oh yeah, that double uh, double star combo. I had no idea what was going on with that one. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, and up next, what do we want to run? You know what? Yeah, I do want to run it. Let's do it. All right, we are gonna run it. We're gonna run nuclear cheese and Sarge. Why not? I want to okay. see it. I want to see some more good Guilty Gear on stream. 
Vicky, I cannot, I cannot say kudos enough. That 6H combo, I know, I, 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 it might sound like I'm memeing when I say like, hee hee, but like, also that was incredible. That's like, as a, as somebody who loves to press 6H, let me tell you right now, oh, after my own heart. I would say that I moderately enjoy pressing 6H. <laughs> oh, I love pressing 6H. Please Top, if I had to, if I had to put my top five buttons, I would say 6H, and then I would say 6H two more times. <laughs> Wait, but what about the other two? Because that's only three. Well, I would say 6H, and then I would say 6HH. -H. Far slash. That's a good one. You don't even have what a, a What a great way to just slide into the conversation, by the way, Tails. I love that deeply. <laughs> I thought we were talking about Kai buttons. Anyway, now we got under Tober's nuclear cheese here. Uh, these two have played each other many a time at, uh, in brackets. But I don't know how often they played in uh, Plus Off. Yeah, so I guess the second Viking versus Fall we've seen tonight? Absolutely, but uh, nuclear cheese, very different soul. Yeah, definitely. Let's see if uh, under Undertow can keep us. Uh, can you keep cheese out with, uh, with Grand, or, uh, with Tatami now. Oh, that drop was big. I don't know if that could have killed, but it would have gotten very close. Absolutely. Oh, my opponent has sent me the steam lobby, so whenever Akko Strike gets back, I will, uh, head off to go play back in. Oh. And we've got a nuclear cheese sitting at full health, substantial life lead over Undertow. Uh, I unfortunately missed the start of this, so is this 1-0 uh, or 0-0? Zero, zero, zero? It's 0-0. Zero, zero. Crap. Uh, Und Undertow making good use out of Sakura here. Ooh, but gets tagged by the Gunplay. Yeah, normal hit Gunplay move. Ooh, walks into the fire, and nuclear cheese now just one hit away from uh, taking the car off and taking the first game over Undertow. So can, you not, can you not use a guard cancel to guaranteed punish um, Tyrant Rave? Uh, I do not know. You probably can, but uh, you might have to lab what which one it would be. Surely Oren should work, or is that slower than 15? No idea. Oh, actually, it doesn't have to be 15 or less because it's during block stun. Also, bike can move strong, block stop, so, uh... Yeah, that's what I was saying. Those, yeah. Oh, that's conversion. <laughs> yep. Nuclear Cheese up 1-0 against Undertow, but, uh, Undertow strong player, definitely not out of this game yet. Yeah, has to figure it out, though. <laughs> Absolutely. Ooh, Grand Viper, good burst. That was going to be a lot of damage. Oh, and we get the confirm into Boom Headshot. Drops the second Sidewinder, but uh, still does a big chunk of damage to Undertow. Riot Stamp getting hit by the Tatami Mat, and Nuclear Cheese Tyrant Raves. Undertow blocks it. Oh, run up Volcanic Viper. Undertow with real low life here. With one more hit, it's tagged by another Volcanic Viper. Oh, Sakura's the Fafnir. Good, good choice. Uh, Still showing signs of life. That was a lot of damage. Ooh, but gets caught by the clean hit or by the force break sidewinder. Yeah, is that even a good air to air? I guess it must be. He used to use it that way. Uh, it guarantees clean hit. That's nice. Oh, and we got a good start from Nuclear Cheese taking the taking the life lead over Undertow and pushing Undertow in the corner. Good burst by Undertow, but Undertow is now without burst at a uh, little under half health against Cheese. Just needs one more round to take it. Ooh, this is going to be a pile of damage. Boom! Head yeah, very down. close. Whiffs the third sidewinder, but one more hit. Oh, this should do it. Drops oh, the combo. Huh? Undertow's got oh, and gets tagged by the or gets tagged by the Gunflame FRC and Nuclear Cheese takes it over Undertow. Is is Sakura not guaranteed after you block um uh Bandit Bringer? I do not know. Uh, now that Craig's back, I'm gonna hop off in the match. Hello, hello? Hmm. Alright, we are back in there. Caught the tail end of that map, that was pretty, pretty sweet.
Yeah, pretty brutal to watch. Jesus, matches have a habit of being that. Huh, let me check the match results channel and see if that has happened. Oh, it did! I have not updated this bracket yet. Now I have. Alright, so I have to play against Noise Tank at some point. Yeah, so how is the Kai matchup? Yeah, we're... Oh, I mean... We, I was going say, like, I can just, like, dip and run it off if I have to. Because you got, like, winner's matches to run. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that was, um, I will, unfortunately, for for as long as technical issues, conti continued into our set, so... But I will say we got to play our second game while Proton was more functional, and it was starting to look... It was definitely a fun match, so I'm looking forward to playing it tomorrow with Proton. Hmm. Yeah, so how is that matchup for Justice? Uh, I sure appreciate that Stunners just get eaten up by nukes when they collide. Yep, yep. <laughs> That's pretty great for me. That's kind of That kind of helps. Um, but yeah, you know. I have, I have a hard time blocking cross the breeds ever. But, you know, it's, it's all good. It works out. It turns out when you can just sort of use reversal to... Michael Blake your way out of it, that helps. But, oh man, Skeletal Minion versus Lofo Laurel, that's going to be pretty exciting. We've seen Lofo from time to time. For some reason, I can't call to mind who Lofo plays right now. Um, Dizzy and sometimes Cliff. There we go. Oh man, it's going to be a blast. And yes, Nikki is... I can definitely see that, like, high struggling against, um... against Justice, because yeah, like, it just seems like Justice has answers for <laughs> a lot of what Kyle was trying to do. But, Definitely, like, you know, looking forward to playing some more in that matchup. There's, you know, all the Kai players I know in our scene aren't really playing that much plus R at all, or are playing Judgment like suckers. I'm looking at you, Gorkovich. Um, suckers. That's been so much better. <laughs> but whatever. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I'd love... Yeah, this this should be a very good match. Um, I believe we've seen these two play in one of the um, what was that um, plus R rollback tournament? I think it was basically the first big one. I think these two faced each other. Um, it was that one that Elvin Shadow won. Right. That was exciting. Oh, this is gonna be a blast. Is that the one that Team Spooky ran? Like, uh, I'm not ago, sure. I so I can't remember. It was like in the early, yeah, back in like the first two weeks, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was really early. Unfortunately, that role there, that Netplay Plus R tournament that Elven Shadow won, doesn't narrow it down that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but I'm that sure one that... Boston Blue beat that that Skeletal Minion won. Yeah, yeah, really. Also that, yeah. Man, Shadow, I'm still sad that Elven um had some. All the real life stuff that kept them from making it to Neo this uh, last year it would have been really fun to have a, yet another super strong player injected into that kick ass bracket. Yeah, yeah. Neo, Neo was definitely a really great time. Uh, and we're glad that uh, so many people have kind of stuck around to keep supporting the scene and everything uh, throughout all of it. It's been really rad. Noise Tank, selfishly, I'm extremely happy to hear that you have no idea how to fight Justice as Kai, because I have some really unfortunate news about who moves Zig for great justice your next opponent is. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. A Zig is a giant robot. Alright, Lofo has arrived, and we are going to get right the heck into it. Yeah, Dizzy, Dizzy or Cliff? I don't even know who to pull out against uh, Abba, but... Well, Cliff well, is the choice. The Cliff is the right choice, so yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, like if you, I'm sure that the pressure once Moraha and Goku Moraha are in play are really brutal for Dizzy to deal with. But Cliff has those big old hitboxes that hopefully can keep out of it. And hopefully, good knockdowns. Well, I suppose Cliff's seven frame sweep must help yeah. a lot. Yeah, combos into the oh the sword wiggle. But that is not going to be a knockdown, though. The meter is intact. Donzai through the burst. That's the second Donzai through a burst we've seen tonight, at least. <laughs> oh, that air throw is sick. Overhead. Oh, does the Goku Murahak does not hit, but Force Break Donzai are probably just dead. Yep. 
Yeah, that's that's brutal. <laughs> All right, go for the tone. Oh man, oh, no. that is some throw range. Oh, absolutely. But hey, throw activated by Hooker by Crook, and now the press is careful. Activates Goku Maroha. Here comes the pain. It's gonna be real low. Oh, Black Beam. We're still active. Recovers, tries to get out of there, but gets hit and loses the burst. You are oh, combo drop. And opportunity for Lobo, Lobo here, but any hit, including a Force Break Donzai, will do it. Oh, that mistimed disc was really unfortunate. Indeed. Because yeah. if, if that had hit Needy and gone into Donzai's armor, I assume Lofo would have recognized it and then blocked or something. Yeah. Alright, well, you got Game 1 Skeleton Minion, Lofo sticking with Cliff. And, you know, you can see why. There was definitely some stuff stuff going on here that might actually might actually work out in Lofo's favor if we can go a little bit differently. Let's see what we got. Go for the round start forward wiggle. Get the damage. But yes. Early burst. Get the throw and the key grab right in the corner. You do not want to be in this situation. Get Java. Get the sweep. That's one knockdown. Yeah, Cliff's sweep is incredibly good. Yeah, and that's a, you want to have a good sweep against Abbott, because all you need is a few knockdowns, and you're in biz. Those run up dons like a Roha damage is in play. Yeah, you can't just get counter hit by dons like that. Ooh, block some five Ooh, hit the chop, and the taunt is in there. Gotta watch out for that. Those them there Japanese characters, but... Delta Minion gets the hit, gets the oh, transform, gets all that life back. Oh, jabbing out wow, of the interaction. Really oh, Nape Saddle gets hit, but the throw from Abba will finish it. Alright, well, one round away. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, it doesn't get the IK! Passing out of stagger. I was dizzy. Oh, that was so good. Oh, that was way too much. All of that was too much. But now. Skeletal with no, me no meter, so Force Break Donzai all the way off the table. <laughs> Goku Baroha also off the table. <laughs> oh, get the shot. Use the burst. Alright. If there's gonna be an opportunity for Mofo, this is it. Oh, what an incredible round. <laughs> oh, go for the shot, but the hit. He's gonna take Carrot all the way to the corner here. Not quite dead though, and without the ability to activate Gokuroha, this meter is what you've got, and no blood packs either. Lofo, oh, yeah, if you don't get key grab, cool. Maroha will not happen, but here we are. Wow, what a surreal round. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the craziest rounds I've ever seen, because we've all seen the clip of the um, 6H dizzying someone on round start into the IK, and it looked like that's what we were getting, but <laughs> that round. Dizzy. Could have been about four seconds long, but instead... <laughs> wow, that... Uh, damn. Wow. That was wild. Well, for a 2-0 where Loho didn't even take a round, it sure was exciting. <laughs> that was outstanding. Um... Um... JMD, should I go play Super my match? close every time. Yeah, you should go play your match. Um... We've got a Vicky and Nuclear Cheese, so it's Soul versus Kai. Oh, oh that's more a Soul versus match. Kai. Good stuff. Uh, all right, well, I'm sad to be missing this, but I will be back when I play my match. Mm, yeah, have fun against Noise Tank. <laughs> well, you know, the Noise Tank, I'm assuming that's like, we have two Jet Set Radio references in that in that case in this in this bracket, because I am going to assume that Noise Tank is a reference to the, the Jet Set Radio gang. Yes, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That seems All like right. a good place for me to step back in. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Welcome back, Tails. Thank you. Ooh, Vicky Viper oh, versus Nuclear Cheese. I am. Vicky Viper last week, I believe, mentioned the, uh, that she was going to lab against Soul and she was coming for Cheese, so uh, I am looking to see, or I am looking forward to this set. Yes. Let's she's hope. narrowly took it over uh, Vicky last week, so this should be exciting. Yeah, let's hope to see a lot of, um, I guess, six P's on the riot staff. That sounds correct. <laughs> six P, two H, 
Kai has a million different ways to deal with it. But she takes the first round. Ooh, counter hit 16 to Bandit Bringer. No follow up though. Uh, gun claim to bait the DP, and it seems to work. I think Clear Chi is throwing that plasma. Gets tagged by the Great Sever, but ooh, boom headshot, boom headshot, boom headshot, and we got a Bandit Revolver in. Ooh, counter hit Bandit Bringer, good burst, but gets tagged by the Volcanic Viper. Uh, Nuclear Cheese is a pretty substantial life lead over Vicky Viper. Ooh, good knockdown, the Grand Viper's under the CSE, and this should be it. Nuclear Cheese takes the first game one or, uh, over Vicky Viper. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's just annoying, because even if you had just done dash FD break to bait Grand Viper, uh, Cheese had a full meter, so you still face, like, two mix-ups. Mm-hmm. Grand Viper, powerful move in this game, leads to a full combo. Yeah, and on block, you know, just RC it and do something else. <laughs> uh, I think Cheese plays in a way where he tends to just have really high tension pulse, and so, you know, if you're just letting the block down by Viper, you Viper tags Kai's button. Ooh, but a Vapor Thrust. <laughs> Oki Vapor Thrust. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we, are, we are fully in Guilty Gear territory, folks. Everyone doing GPs. Love the uh, the instant air backdash uh, JS and clean it sidewinder. That's the third failed conversion from a Greed Sever. Gotta work on them Greed Sever combos. Oh, get the counter hit 5k. Use the clean hit sidewinder to get the conversion, but this is the second clean hit. Ooh, but a whiff DP, and Nuclear Cheese is going to take that round. Nuclear Cheese now one round away from taking it over Vicky Viper. Yeah. Ooh, but she 6Ps that Riot Stamp. That's what we want to see, folks. <laughs> vapor Thrust to beat the Volcanic Viper. Run up Vapor Thrust. Ah, uh, love me some Guilty Gear. Yeah, well, I won't fault you for the run up Vapor Thrust as long as it hits. <laughs> Ooh, run up Volcanic Viper, but was not a counter hit, so it does not lead to a confirm. Nuclear Cheese is a little bit of a life deficit, but a uh, sole high damage character. Ooh, beats the burst, but does not get a punish. CSE trades with the Grand Viper. Nuclear Cheese Bandit Bringers over and then Riot Stamps. Vapor Thrust on the Bandit Bringer. Good job. Jumps over the Tyrant Range. This should be a good punish. Mm, yeah. CSE and another Tyrant Range gets hit. Big Viper takes a round off Nuclear Cheese. Three, Fighting for her life in this bracket against the uh, the embodiment of wild soul play. Wait, isn't this the winners? But yes. <laughs> Fighting for her life in winners <laughs> against this uh, the soul bad guy. Oh, Greeks ever beats Bandit Bringer. Uh, unfortunately, misses the Vapor Thrust combo. Don't know if it would have worked there. Yeah, these these Kai, Kai players would know much better than I. Gets the knockdown, CSE, but ooh, gets tagged by the Grand Viper again. Boom, headshot. Boom, headshot. Oh, first hit of Bandit. Bobber, run up, Tyrant Rave. Vicky does not get hit by the throw, and we get a ride the lightning right back. Oh, watch the cross of Greed Sever. I would have got hit. Me too. Oh, it's going to be a chunk of damage. Both, both characters at very low health. I don't think it's quite going to kill, but what's the mix-up? And we get a throw, and Vicky, uh... Vicky brings it up to 1-1. One, one. Yeah, very good stuff. Absolutely. Please select your character. <laughs> the, the most classic Guilty Gear matchup, Soul vs. Kai. Yeah, yeah, hard to think of something seen more. It, seen it a million times, but it's always exciting. Well, that's the mark of a good game. Mm -hmm. Good air conversion, and Vicky Viper takes uh, takes an early lead over Nuclear Cheese, but Vapor Thrust is uh, is blocked, and now Cheese is in the driver's seat. Yeah, I, I, I gotta complain about the meaty Vapor Thrust if it doesn't hit. <laughs> if it hits them, okay, fair enough. Ooh, counter hit 2H. Good burst there. It looked like it was supposed to be a burst bait, but wasn't quite, quite uh, lined up to get that air thrust. Gonna be a pile of damage. Looks like Vicky is uh adapted to Nuclear Cheese's wild playstyle. Vicky now had a substantial life lead over Nuclear Cheese. 
when Force Break greets Evers through the dusk using its, uh... Uh, is it full body in or just lower body? Is it just oh, I'm not sure. I know it's at least foot in. Jump slash, get a knockdown, block the bandit revolver. CSE. And now we're starting that corner CSE pressure. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Hmm, Vicky, Vicky Viper at nearly full life and nuclear cheese setting at maybe 25%. Uh, Vi or Vicky is one round away from uh, taking the game over cheese. Good dead angle. Ooh, gets hit by the dust. Boom headshot. But drops the combo. Ooh. Band revolver knockdown. Vicky's in the corner. Ooh, counter hit. Oh. Boom headshot. Oh, Boom headshot. And nuclear cheese takes the round despite that li life loss. We are now on the last round of this game, folks. Good vapor thrust knockdown. Hits the riot stamp. Yeah, if soul riot stamp from that far away, you really should be ready to an or to uh, anti that. We uh, clash the DPS, which is the most guilty gear thing I can think of. Ooh, force break greets ever over the grand viper. That was that was excellent. Vicky's sitting in a life lead, but uh, as we saw last round, soul able to turn it around in a moment's notice. Ooh, this is going to be a beefy combo. Get those get those six hatties. One more good hit should uh should take nuclear cheese out of the out of it and force break greets ever. Vicky Viper takes it over nuclear cheese. Man, yeah, force break greets ever seems really good. <laughs> that was a wild set. Yeah, there's yeah no fear between either of them. Just run up DP all the all day. <laughs> uh, I do love shouting boom headshot. If my roommate wasn't in the next room, I would be shouting it much louder. <laughs> Mm. Probably Tails. a good thing that I'm not. Yes, no, Tails, please do not make me further go into the Discord audio levels and have to adjust things. Too many knobs. I feel like I'm playing a hurdy-gurdy already, or I'm just, like, friggin' pulling 20 knobs at once. That video of the guy with the little horn attached to his, like, mega piano, he's just a circus? That's me. <laughs> so what you're saying is bike horn version of a uh, Great Empress. Mm. That's what I got out of this. Mm. I don't like that at all. <laughs> all right. Looks like we're... Looks like you're going to play Stone. Oh, me on Stone up next? Mm-hmm. Or me versus Stone up next? Yeah. You and Stone up next. All right. I will hop out of uh, this once again. What's up, guys? Hey, Craig? I am back. Hey, what's up? Mm -hmm. I gotta figure. Are you? You're still in too. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. Y'all gotta start losing. All our I mean, all the other commentators are doing really well tonight, and I'm out here I just. Mean, like, I had the good sense to go zero two for the sake of the stream. I went zero two. Oh, I went zero two zero two. I decued myself to somebody who didn't end up showing up in the end anyways. Hmm. Very honorable. I keyed. I haven't I matched. Alright, so what are we running next? Uh, we're going to run uh, Tails uh, versus... Uh... Oh, wow, I'm so glad it auto-remembered Hideki Naganuma's Fly Like a Butterfly. Um, we're going to run uh, Tails uh, versus uh, Stone. Any idea who Stone plays? I John do not. Johnny. Oh yeah, Stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stone plays Johnny. Um, and because I think s no, we did not put. Yes, we had Stone on. Yeah, we, we ran Stone, stone earlier. Yep. So yeah. this is this is so Stone has been running it all the way back through losers. Oh yeah. Got that early losers edition, and then fighting way back out. Play Jackie. That'll be fun. Greg, do you want to go run your match against Jackie, and I'll do the. I yeah, I mean that'll work. Yeah, let's um, do that. I'll sub in for a right, for a hot second, and then. All right. Well, I'll be back. All right. All right, and we're just uh, so Stone's gonna be coming in. Uh, it'll be me and Flack on commentary. Uh, well, one of our commentators is in this match, and the other plays their other one. 
It looks like yeah. we. I'm just taking a quick peek see over the bracket right now. It looks like uh uh the st uh the stream link. Oh uh one second stone. I'll get that to you. Uh yeah, it looks like we're gonna have a winners finals between uh Skeletal Minion and Vicky Viper. Um and our our losers bracket is already going all the way up. Looks like we've got so we've got Cheese and uh and Lofo still in. Um. The winner of this is going to be the one who plays Lofo next. And then Craig and Jackie are fighting for the right to play Gorgovich. We've got a, a good blend of characters in here too as well, which is really awesome. Yes. Yeah, I hope we get to see Cheese versus Lofo again. Um. So in this matchup, supposedly a really good thing for Johnny to do in neutral is 3H because it's active enough to just beat Fujin easily. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Stone's got that knowledge. Goes for an early gold burst, New England style. <laughs> and then throws. It's very powerful. This is countering on wake up though. I don't know what uh, what Stone was mashing there. Looks actually like Tails uh, using FD there actually pushed uh, Johnny out of range of uh, the butterfly. Not that it matters at this point. Combo is on. Whoop! What's his name? Okay. That that will beat the uh, overhead orb. Mm -hmm. But standing with 5K right there, that'll that'll solve the problem. Doesn't get the follow up. Still love seeing him use a ton of that 3H, like you mentioned earlier. Seeing a lot of Fujin. Yeah, Fujin's corner. doing work here. Mm -hmm. Maybe Stone doesn't know. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's. I mean, and that's that is the the trick with a with a move like Fujin with something that's got that much you know info. It's 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 it is such a knowledge check. Yeah, and then that auto guard right there too to get through. Beautiful stuff, from Tails. It's the mix. Got to block that overhead. Well, yeah, unblockable. I mean, unblockable, <laughs> so you can't block it. Might have been able to dead angle, maybe. <laughs> that would have been, yeah, depending on depending on how far out uh, Tails was. But oof, if that dead angle had whiffed, you would have been in CH state, even worse. It's a spicy meatball. Stone taking a second on character select again. Yeah. It's important. It's. I think it's. It's. It's really important. You know, assumedly. I'm assuming it's characters uh, taking a minute again, as opposed to a desync. It could be a desync. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not. Whoa! Oh! The spice. Okay, that's either very exciting or very desperate or both. The spice. I didn't see it coming. Yeah, I had no idea. So, I had no idea that Stone had a venom. Let's see what we got. Let's uh, start dash. Not seen. All right, there it is. Goes the gold burst again. Definitely one of the things that Stone is looking for. Hale's just running point. offense, though. No respect. All right, there we go. There's that dead angle. Can Stone get something started here. Another dead angle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if that's necessarily the best use of that meter for Venom. Um... But I mean, you gotta, you gotta get something. He's gotta get something going. It, nice. it is one of Venom's big uses because he doesn't have really? good defensive options. Yeah. I just feel like you know it's rough when you when you go for a gold burst. You've got those defensive options on deck right away. Oh, very nice though. Looking good. Archangel. Oh, oh, the good stall with the orb. Yep, great. And Smart yeah, stuff there. Anti, yeah. Almost, yeah. Uh, smart use on the uh, on the uh, fourth break balls, the ones that uh, will like go around the screen a couple of times before they come back. That was good to kind of catch Anji on the recovery frames there. That ended up not working out. Almost ran it back. Oh, goes for it again. This time blocked. Yeah, auto guarded by Rin. Guard bar was just so cranked. It's key. And right into the ball that time. Catch is low. There's the mix. This was not a desperation pick, it feels. This, is a, this, is a, this, this Venom is real. Yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Gonna have to block. 
Nice. Oh, it doesn't punch Oh, huh. just too much, though. Has to hold it for too long. Got that angle immediately. Like you said, yeah. That is one of those key uses, clearly. That's on me. That's a, that's that's me. I, I failed the knowledge check. Become yeah, a taco. Oh, nice overhead. One more. <gasps> this time gets oh, it. Wake up, go first. I love it. Wow. The double. The double. The double. I love that. Double head Morbid doesn't have it yet. Tails goes for DP. Gets the overhead. Oh, the orb overhead. Mm, mm, almost so much more of that pocket Venom. I wanted it. Ah, I wanted I, it, but Tails. Oh, great instant overhead. Clutches it out. I wanted the Dark Angels to bounce on you between them, but it wasn't to be. That's actually what I want. Yeah, that's true. That would have been just a... I would have had to run it back and then go pull the... the um curb your enthusiasm thing back up again too yeah that was brilliant great stuff from both players yeah what? i want to see more of that venom <laughs> if i watch the stream you would know that's true you can uh you can follow stone at uh ttv uh fgc stone clearly <laughs> so i guess we have uh tails versus lofo and uh and we're waiting on the results, it looks like. Uh, yeah, Shoutouts to Venom, for real. That was sick. Alright. I think we're still waiting on the results of... Uh, of Craig and... Uh, Jackie Sparkles. Hmm. And then the winner of that's going to play... Uh, Borgovich. Um, the time being, though, we've got matches we can run... Is there anything we can run? Yeah, we can... You know what, actually? We might keep Tails on and have him keep running. Yeah, sounds good to me. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a... Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, yeah. We, uh, unless unless I see in GG General right now... Nope, I did not. So we're going to do uh, you and Lofo. All right. Yeah, so I guess the question here is whether we're going to see the Cliff or the Dizzy. Yeah. Um, Cliff obviously has the discs, which are super active and shut down Fujin really hard. Mm -hmm. And last time we saw Tails fight a Cliff player, um, you know, it was just disc beating Fujin all day. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're... And I guess I'm not sure how dizzy um how dizzy fares against Anji. Um oh I would imagine that she's got you know fish are gonna cover a lot of active uh, screen space as well. Um if you got if you got bite fish and you can apply the mix ups and everything too, you can uh, you could potentially use that to catch Anji on the turnaround. Uh, and fish stay out in this game. Uh, yeah, they do. They do. So that's going to be, you know, even if... So if you do a two-hitter, you know, you can hit Anji out of a follow-up, even if even if you get clipped. So I think, to me, the uh, the the uneducated smooth brain jam player, um, Dizzy feels like a really solid pick for this matchup. But like you said, Cliff's got those discs, so it really, I think, comes down to who Lofo feels more comfortable against, uh, more comfortable with. Um... If this is really a split character situation, they, in my opinion, they could go either way. Um, I think uh, I would have to double check life bar, but I feel like Cliff's going to get blown up slightly less, and his hitbox is going to be slightly harder to combo. Mm. Yeah, I, I wonder about Dizzy's um, various projectile Oki and whether it actually works well against um, Anji's wake up auto guards. All right, we just uh, sorry. I was looking confused with Lofo. Should have been a little clearer. Up. Oh. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, Craig. I'm here. I'm You're doing here. a thing. All right, Craig. And Lofo versus Tails. What a match! Yep. Yeah, it should be very exciting. Oh man! Wait a minute. Did Gorgmish have to go? Wait, I thought you or said you top eight. No. Oh, right, that's not what this is. Whoops. 
Oh, I reported the wrong freaking match. Yeah. I I reported the next match that had not happened. Yeah, it's Reflexively. fine. Reflexively. Yeah. Like a clown. Please select your character. Oh, we're getting the dizzy. We are getting the dizzy. Okay. Cool. Take some blocking. No punish on the Nagiha though. Might not be 100% trying to feel out. This could be a... Could be attempted a download run, but this is 2 out of 3 and they are in loser side, so... Still blocking... Oh! They're hit by regular run. Can't be letting regular in just normal hate you. <laughs> oh, another Nagiha no punish. Get the hit, it's gonna hurt. On, back to the middle. Butterfly is set up. Oh, I just can't get anything going. Yeah. Oh, get the throw oh, though. Alright, now it's time. Yeah, here we go. Oh yes, the secret tech, the taunt setups. So was... Dizzy's taunt is an unblockable hit, and there are setups that give you time to land it, and sometimes you can even combo off of it with the right fishes or whatever. That's extremely cute, but it'll... got another hit. Ooh, hit out of the blue gym. Not Nice backdash to escape pressure. But cornered and out of option. But yeah, the other week Lofo was showing me some of this, uh, Dizzy top setup stuff. It's um, it's it can be very powerful. Um, it actually depends on which voice set you have. The three of them have different speeds. That's fascinating. Damn, the song rips. Also, yeah, it does. yeah. So wait, which of those three voice settings is tournament legal? Is this a tournament legal setup right now? Hang on. Yeah, do we know? Oh, voice settings are RNG. You can't control it. Amazing. Oh, get the tail first out, but get the corner. Oh, wow! Snatch with about as high up of an on as you're gonna get. Nice oh, fear in block. Nice back dash. Oh, far eye spike. <laughs> I get caught by that all the time, too. Far eye spike with a laser fish backing it up. Oh, ice knife goes out to it. Ooh, hits the fish, but still maintains pressure. Great stuff by Tails, but... That, that dizzy anti-air, you can't beat it. Well, you can, but it's tough. Auto oh, guard. Locked overhead, back that follow-up. Another solid back dash after blocking the heavy boot follow-up. Yeah, very good back dashes. Tails back in the back in that corner position that they love so much. And this is going to ache. On to get back to the middle, set up a butterfly. What do you got? Almost oh, time the overhead. Okay. But gets the side switch and another hit. Alright, one round of peace, but set point the tails. And Boko back in the corner. Finding himself in a rough situation once more. The overhead oh, hit by Ren. Alright, nice block on the butterfly setup. But gets caught with another Fujin. Head to the other corner. Alright, oh, gets the throw. Good throw. Here's an opportunity for Lofa right here. Double air dash for the sneaky overhead. Head angles out to set up a fish. Oh, hits the fish after it turns around. But yeah, very good find on the uh, Fujin. Alright. Because he's got everything set up. Oh, what a... Oh, that throw break. Oh, yeah, that throw break is high. Some high-risk maneuvers, but oh, the the final hit. The oh, tail my God. <laughs> that round was so yeah, close. Yeah, that was, it looked so, like so close. Had it. Yeah, but then that 
throw that throw tech throw break situation just both players of a mind at just the right moment yeah yeah i'm actually surprised anji was able because dizzy's throw range is pretty big so often she can just throw you from outside your throw range yeah but well guess gets the throw tech to reset to stop the momentum that lofo was building and that was all it took craig you have to play on stream now oh man yeah you gotta Sorry, you made it all the way this far into bracket? Well, alright. Well, as a fun preview, this is a rematch of my first round match <laughs> against right. Korkovic, so uh, let's see how this goes. Hint. The first one did not go so hot, so let's see how this goes. I'll catch you guys in a bit. I had never seen that Dizzy Unblockable setup before. That was rad. Yeah, it's Lofo Secret Tech. Posted to Twitter naturally. Oh yeah, do you know how that works, Tails? Uh, I heard the the voice head thing. I yeah, had this, yeah. I had in the background. Yeah, so the the three different voice sets have different speeds, and so each one of them will allow you different amounts of setup time beforehand. But with the right um. Uh, with the right fishes and stuff, you can get um, you can get some pretty big combos off of it. Rad. And up next, yeah, it is a uh, Gorkovich versus Agro Craig, Justice versus Testament. Notoriously difficult matchup for uh, Justice, but very high damage character Justices. So uh, we'll see what Agro Craig uh, is able to do. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, we had a large bracket today. 25 people. Or I guess 24, because I think we had one uh, person who we had to we had to DQ at the start of the event. But still, quite large for a weekly. Shoutouts to everyone who joined. Thank you so much. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Everyone's uh, getting those reps in for Frosty Fastings. Yep, the pre-Frosty practice tournament. <laughs> Absolutely. It's great because I have at least two people in this bracket in my uh, in my pool. <laughs> Just the locals. <laughs> oh, three people in the bracket even. Yes, JMD, Vicky Viper, and Nuclear Cheese are, I believe, all in my pool for this. Agro, Agro Craig with the uh, with the self-deprecating, self-deprecating. I'm out there. <laughs> Uh, and let's start this uh start this event. Yeah, just always a slog of a matchup. Not easy for justice. Absolutely. Do love those uh those Gundam toy justice colors though. I love that it's the Honestly, that's a huge sell. Nice throw there, Start. Oh, uh, that already is not, caught. That is not quite default justice. Oh, is it not? Okay. No, default justice is just white. Ah. Uh, I got mixed. I got mixed. You got mixed. Oh, and uh, here we go with those testament com combos. Getting out, getting out one hit badlands. Oh, it drops the throw combo, though. Yep. But uh, the life bar is still pretty even, and justice does have that guts five going for her. I do not know what Testament's guts is, I do not believe it is that high. Uh, but gets tagged by a poison, which is unfortunate. Just as those life bar goes, uh, going down, down, down. Uh, but both characters now, very close to death. Jumps up with the Gravedigger, but gets tagged, and uh, Gorkovich takes the first round. This time, Gravedigger was not the one who went down. Nice counter! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the conversion roll. Got those Michael Swords. Ooh, good testament throw. Ooh, but no combo. Uh, Justice, d despite her large size, is uh, is small. Oh, but here's a throw combo. That does a large chunk of damage to testament, but unfortunately puts a uh, testament full screen. Justice normally wants to be full screen, but testament may be able to outzone her in this matchup. Yeah, testament does not want to, or justice does not want to be full screen against testament. Ooh, and uh, Agro Craig getting run through that Barney Blender. Ooh, full screen Michael Blade gonna let 
get in. Oh, but gets tagged by the uh, Nightmare Circular. And uh, Gorgovich takes the first game over uh, Acrocrit. Please select your character! All right, and let's see if Agro Craig can uh, can adjust. Gorgovich was the uh, was the person they lost against to get into losing bracket. So this is this is double jest or jump yeah double jeopardy for Agro Craig. Ooh, gets that Michael Sword, but again full, which is a uh, testament full screen. There, uh, those Barneys can run rampant. But Agro Crack has now pushed Gorgovich in the corner. Ooh, but Testament Air Dash is out. And now Justice is in the corner with that Sappy Aero Trance. I think that's what that move is called. I will never fully remember. It is. Mm. You got yes. it. I did it. I will have forgotten it by next week. But uh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> Agro Crack with a pretty substantial life lead here. Uh, just one more good hit. Testament is, uh, is dead. But getting clipped by those Barneys. Yeah, I gotta block on wake up. This uh this could be trouble for aggro Craig. Oh, gets tagged by the Barney and Gorgovich takes the round over Craig. It's too much Exer, too many tech buttons. Too many tech buttons. Oh round start counter, yeah, that's really brutal. Keeps losing those one-hit Badlands combos. Absolutely, but uh, does not seem to be mattering. And uh, Gorgovich had a huge white lead over Justice. Ooh. And Gorgovich takes it over uh, over Aggro Craig. Yeah, yeah. It's just I don't know. It's hard for Justice. <laughs> hard for Justice, and I do not. I know Aggro Craig and Furok have played a fair bit, but I don't know quite how many uh, games of this Craig has gotten up. Yeah, I think Craig needed to be a little more patient and just uh, tech or wake up and just block the beasts and then see what happens. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. But now we get Gorgovich first <laughs> I off, crowd favorite I, nuclear cheese. I also, would, welcome back, Craig. I would I, like to <laughs> note that everybody today, Tails, Craig, all of y'all, have just been on point with your, like, way to, like, slide back into the conversation, like, has just been immaculate. <laughs> Gotta have a good entrance, man. You know, if you're gonna get double jeopardy by any character in Guilty Gear Exert X and Core Plus R, <laughs> I'm really X2, glad you X2, called X2, it. Core plus R, I'm really glad you called it Exert X and Core. Yeah, whatever. Super Guilty Gear X X X and Core yes. Plus R Turbo. Isn't that Dash. the? <laughs> what's the? Uh, there's uh, there's that Exert fan patch that's coming out. That's like uh, Rev Loaded or whatever. Oh yeah, it's like. Yeah, Exit Rainbow Edition. Revolution, 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 revolution. Yes. Yes. The the part of that that I most remember is that they let Maze JH ground bounce, and I hate it. <laughs> and Eno gets a command throw. But uh, that is not what we're playing right now. Right now we're playing Plus R. So let's watch this uh this tasty mint versus Soul. She's quite familiar with this matchup for that old New England lore. Uh, she's used to play with one of the better testaments in the country, White Nazgul, years ago. Uh, they showed up to events together all the time and played many a set together, so uh, he is very familiar with the Soul vs. Testament matchup. Team has the has the fundamental, but. Absolutely. Oh, there's that poison, but ooh, second. Oh. All right, thank you, Gorgovich. But Grave Digger's out. Takes the first round against Nuclear Cheese. Yeah, you think that was the slash rack attempt on the Tyrant Rave? Optimus, that'd be pretty bold, or so. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I've been talking about that for like a week, but I think that's how we should be talking from Tyrant Rave. Just FRC Souls Tyrant Rave for him. Uh, Gorgovich takes. Gorgovich taking the, the health lead, but uh, Nuclear Cheese techs out, and again, Soul Bad Guy, high damage character. Ooh, good throw on the 5D. Let's see if we get the uh, the loop out of it. Ooh, Rad Grave Digger. 
puts cheese in the corner. Dead oh. angles backwards and then gold bursts. And there's that 5G impossible draw. Boom headshot. Boom headshot. Ooh. Oh, yeah, too high. Missed the third hit. Does not get tagged by Nightmare Circular. And far enough away that the plus frames aren't that relevant. Boom Back headshot. In the air. Boom headshot. Boom headshot. Spend all this meter on first break side one. Try Spend and all this game. meter to force those clean hits. Yeah. And now we are 1 1. Uh, warrants the warrants the BB, but nobody gets tagged. Yeah. We get a side switch out of the deal. Run up. Oh, up. wild throw. This is going to do a lot of damage. Good burst. They dash back in. Right the counter hits. Oh, but gets hit by the warrants. Now that poison is going to uh, going to tick down. Look at how much yeah, damage they're really doing. Oh, right over the far slide. Rude. Oh, Grand Viper. <laughs> Roman cancels it for the mix up. Nuclear Chi is a big fan of that Grand Viper Roman cancel. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you're first. definitely seems familiar with this whole matchup. But boom headshot. Boom headshot. With the leader of the world on Hitman side, though. This was the first and Ooh, and a good throw. This, this should be doing the pile of damage. Good burst out. Both characters really low health right now. Doesn't quite do it, oh, but that oh, oh, one more hit, and uh, Nuclear Cheese takes the first game against Gorgovich. What a close set. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, very close. Back and forth game. Gorgovich doing some great job keeping Cheese at bay for a lot of that. Let's to run see if uh, uh, Gorgovich doesn't need to make many adjustments to to take it over Cheese. That was incredibly close. One one hit in the other direction could have taken it. Got a oh, college game really though. Like Ooh, liking that white hair test event. Now we got old man testament, just like his dad, Cliff. Wait, testament isn't actually. Yes, testament is actually Cliff song. I had no idea. <laughs> yup. There's uh, there's uh there's your weekly guilty gear little. Get to pick up off the net. Testament is Cliff's son that got turned into a gear. Oh! Ooh. Iron Brave into the corner, rushing back. Oh, 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 the 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 circular. My brain. Uh, good air throw. Gunplayer. Wired to FRC. No wrong game. Got the tyrant. Rave. There's there's a lot going on, folks. You it is. These matches are very high high octane. Absolutely, but. Runs into the gun flame, and that would have. There was a lot of damage left there in that combo uh, when that round ended. Nice dash forward JPs, Volcanic Viper knocked down in the corner. Absolutely, Nuclear Cheese now one round away from taking it over Borkovich and fighting. Oh god, Nate. <laughs> Alright. Hmm, I think I actually have to root for Gorgovich here. Gorgovich fighting out of the corner, but Cheese back in, gets the first. Cheese gets back and in, Cheese not giving Gorgovich an, an inch. Oh, the bird right is now spent, so another clean hit is going to hurt a lot. Momentum. Yeah, momentum fully in Jesus' Jesus' favor. Uh, something has changed since the last round. Look at those combos. Just one more hit. Gets tagged oh, by the Nightmare circular. circular. This, oh, that's big damage. This is big damage. Gorgovich could uh, bring this back, but he can't get yeah. help. Gets 5 k and Nuclear Cheese takes it over Gorgovich. Mm, very unfortunate. Good play by Gorgovich, though. Yeah, it looked like it could have gone either way. All right, and uh, I do believe that means it is a me versus Gorgovich in a losers or me versus Nuclear Cheese in losers semifinals. Mm. Good luck. You'll need it. Oh, <laughs> uh, unless we're running the winners finals game first. Actually, uh, we yeah, we are gonna do exactly that. We're gonna All take right. a we're gonna take a, a really quick break. Actually, uh, for for a quick second here, folks. Um, I would just like to uh, remind everyone um, here at Boston Bluebeat, uh, recently we did uh, lose a very important member of the New England fighting game community, uh, Henny, um, also known as the bad guy, was one of the uh, preeminent Tekken players in our scene, an all-around wonderful human being, and unfortunately was the victim of uh, racial violence um, uh, last week. And it's been amazing to see the outpouring of support from across the FGC uh, for the GoFundMe and Henny's family. Um, but of course, anything that you can contribute, anything you can provide, uh, that that it would be greatly appreciated. Um, there's a there's a link up in the chat. Um, if you've got anything to donate, it's all going directly uh, to Henny's family, uh, his mom, his partner, his three kids. 
Um, and that would be rad. Uh, it would be just a uh, real stand up. Would love to see if that gets over two hundred thousand. I, I will lose my. I I would I would pop off hard. But for now, I'm gonna kick it back over to our commentators uh, for our winners finals match. Three out of five between uh, Vicky Viper and Nuclear Cheese. What? No. Nope. Uh, not. That not event. Nuclear not Cheese, <laughs> who was in the room and threw me off. Never mind. I should stop talking. Skeletal cheese. <laughs> Skeletal zombie cheese. Nuclear here. minion. Oh, the nuclear minion. <laughs> Terrifying. I can't believe when Abba hits you with key grab, she turns into soul bad guy. I mean, the pressure with Goku Maroha going is... We did it. We figured out how to make dragon install good, y'all. Goku dragon install. <laughs> Goku install. I don't know, every time I think about guy. Dragon Install, I'm like, isn't this just Overdrive from Blaze Blue? What with all the involved on activation? Like, truly, this has got to be good. You got, I don't believe you got other use Overdrive's uh, put you one hit from Dizzy and crank your wrist. So. Here we go. Oh, oh that's right. 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 And uh, there's the slide. <laughs> <laughs> Nuclear Cheese just messaged me. Haha, <laughs> Dragon Install being good. Alright, got some pressure from Vicky though. Oh, get that skeleton against the side switch. It's so hard to, to get out of that Maroha pressure. Yeah. Look at Especially that. Especially when you're hammer. cornered. Oh, first out. Oh, gets hit once really more really right out of time the first. Yeah. Oh, one more, one last chance, but slides right through that. Yeah, that slide is very well timed. And Skeletal Minion takes the first round. The slot does not get the slide key grab this time, though. Let's see if uh, Vicky yeah. can uh, pack on that hurt before Skeletal Minion is uh, able to, to go Maroha. Here we go. Vicky bringing the pressure, but gets anti air, and that should Ooh, be the key grab. There it is. Nice backdash. Knockdown number one. one. First knockdown. First to stop the second knockdown, but uh, yeah, well, in the corner. The there you go. Number two. Ooh, this, this could be, be another. Be there you go. And we got an instant kill, Vicky Viper. <laughs> Absolutely. Vicky Viper knowing the matchup 100%. You get that IK opportunity, you take it. And Kai, I believe, has the fastest instant kill in uh, Plus R. It's either Kai or Venom. Well, either way, it's fast enough. Yeah, Absolutely. here we go. Vicky applying the pressure. Vicky oh. not gonna let Skeletal Minion run her over. Runs into the four strike steel frame. Ooh, but this is gonna be a pile of damage. Yeah, run all the way to the corner, oh, go to activation. Ooh, both staggered, but uh, yeah. this is gonna be so much damage. Even trading with Goku Maroha activation is not great. Goldberg does not have to deal with the unblock. Though. And just one one knockdown to do it. Nope. Uh, Abo right. turns back to normal mode so that. Out of blood packs, so, so you gotta do something. Gotta hit with that key grab. This is looking good for Vicky. Vicky's got a. Got a substantial life lead in. Abba's and some meter to work with, too. Oh, but... Ooh, Abba oh, drops the combo. Still Unable no to start a nightmare. I hate to see oh, it. And Vicky changed the first game over Skeletal Minion. Done. Alright, so there you go. That's how... Basically, we've now seen all the both sides of how this matchup can go. And both players got enough, a chance to execute their game plan in that game. But Vicky was able to pull it out. So now, everything has been laid bare. Now, can Skeletal... Run it back. Why are there race cars in my soundtrack? Uh, cause everything needs more race cars. Heaven or hell, do one. Yeah, okay, but but uh, Vikings get or Vikings normal theme also slaps. So here's the, here's the thing. Uh, Korean Viking theme is different and cool. Uh, I have heard some variant of momentary life for the last four years way too much because everybody picks it in Exert too. So no thanks. I mean, oh. it doesn't help that uh, that that Viking Exert theme is just a remix of Momentary Life. Damn, nice slide through all those fields that were set up, and now Maroha is activated. But yeah, one knockdown like... already, and gets thrown. Vicky's and got the life from... Ooh, good. Uh, good tech bait. Ooh, but a nice anti-air, and the tech combo out of it. Oh, but the vapor oh, follow up doesn't follow quite hit. hit there. But that would have been like, hey, I like Vicky had a substantial life lead here. Just needs to not get tagged by those big Maroha buttons. Yeah, Maroha oh. is on and the corner is here. And that's Peter for good first. Abba's got one health. Ooh, the oh. oh, but the camp first claim to throw. Drive them with the light. And out for, the, uh, for the first time in any of our Boston Blue Feeds events, someone is one round away from taking it over Skeletal Man. 
<laughs> Good job, Vicky. It's three out of five, oh, unfortunately. Oh, it's winner's yeah. finals. It's three out of five. Uh, everything Dude. I said was untrue. Also, wait, I knocked Skeletal into losers one time. Yeah, that did happen. Oh, anyway. Did happen? Wow. So, Kamaroha activated. Here comes the pressure. The FRC with uh, Goku Moroha activation actually increases the FRC window on Abba's Rekka. Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. One hit with death. Oh, that was Look at that damage. And get the last little hit, and that was that. Oh, can reach ever. Paper just follow up. Run up throw, great stuff for Vicky so far. Knockdown. But a good back dash to get the throw and the key grab. Oh, Vapor Thrust! That's it's a over great. The what a hurt boss. Yeah, but that's a heck of a way to punish the Vapor Thrust. And there is the uh, the unblockable setup. Don's eyes through the burst, and this is Real. everything skeletal menu. And, and air throw out of the tech. There's a successful Vapor Thrust. Go to oh. activated, and you are probably just dead. Yep, and that should be it. Skeletal minion takes the game over. Uh. Vicky, they're now 1-1. One, one. Good use of the burst by Skeletal to maintain that positioning, even when Ab getting caught by a reversal. And Abba really is a, uh, a scary character when she gets going. Absolutely. And just every time that mode change goes, you know that <laughs> it's about to get real. All right, well, strong recovery by Skeletal Minion, but we're still early on in the set. There's still plenty of gear left to be played here. Absolutely. Both of these players very strong. Would love to see a free two. Oh yeah, knock down to the corner. No transform yet. Then blood pad. Yeah, good air dash. Does a fair chunk of damage. Keeps Kai in that corner. And there's and oh, and there's the Peter drop. to activate Goku as well. But this is going to be a real uphill battle for Vicky here. Oh, and that should do it. Skeletal minion takes the round over Vicky Viper. Abba really only needs that one or two hits to uh. Once she's in Maroha mode. You the first to give an opportunity to blood pack up. Absolutely. Ooh, good not quite, not quite able to get the knockdown, though. Ooh, but Dante's through the butt. Look at that guard bar. Lincoln, and he hit yeah, for a lot. Ooh, oh, get knockdown. the knockdown. Good stuff by Vicky. There's two. I'm um, in the throw. And the oh. IK skeletal minion. Indeed. For the second time this set. Yup. It is it is the way. Must be way you do have it. IKs that don't involve running off the side of the screen. <laughs> oh yeah, huh, that's probably tricky for you. Alright, get the character out of IK. Variable startup and some kills. Alright. Try to slide out of the corner, but get tagged. Makes that, uh, makes that vapor thrust and No punish this time. Goku, Goku and... Maha, look at that blink. Ooh, the impossible Five feet! Bar. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. With the blinking guard bar, this is actually just gonna kill. You're dead. Wow. That is incredible damage. <laughs> damage! Great damage off of what I believe is like a 20 frame uh, 5D in Goku mode. Wow. It's very that's, fast. That's brutal. Yeah, I mean, have the guard bar cranked all the way up and hit a 5D and go to Maroha. Well, say goodbye to at least half your health. All right, well... Say goodbye to Hollywood. Well, Vicky now on the ropes, but no, nobody's going to say that Vicky is unable to run this back. Two games straight. Oh, oh, oh the key grab went the wrong direction. You hate to see it. Or you love to see it. Depends on who you're uh, voting or are uh, rooting for. Look at that six pit. Good. Oh, six eight two. Oh, but a oh, great slide through the corner and the activation. I really Look like this. Spooky spooky spooky. I really dig the spooky version of uh, of the, the major. Yeah, indeed. Oh, this carry uh, the other corner. I like that one pirate who's just stuffing her face in the corner. We're just chilling, you know. More damage, gonna loop and kill. Skeletal minion, uh, I believe now, one round away from uh, taking it. Yeah, take it out that. Defense so, first, to get activated, but already one knockdown in. Vicky's doing what she needs to do. Great air dash out of the corner. Ooh, good side 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 through the paper gloves. And the burst is not, a little bit too high. Oh, not quite an knockdown. Oh. Yeah. Notice the meter Stop was getting a bit low. Activate mode. Uh, uh, by the Dom's, uh, Ride the, the lightning. 
tag the, the Dawn sign though. Or tag the Goku. Or break down by words are bad. Peter's almost out, but so is Kai's life meter. <laughs> Activated but gets immediately swept. Great blocks by Skeletal to maintain what's left of this meter. Ooh, good lightning spear right here. But again, more great blocks by Skeletal. Just trying gonna to get that one a, more hit. Gonna make this a challenge for Skeletal. Oh, oh my god. And Skeletal Minion takes it over Vicky Viper. Wow, what, an, what, a, what a performance there. Still, strong stuff from Vicky. Got a couple IKs in there, which always feels good. Sounds good. Right. Uh, Tails and Cheese. Oh, uh, so I've got to hop off. Tales of Cheese. Coming this summer from Bandai Namco. Sailing the seas of cheese. Ta tailsing the... the hmm. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Tales of Cheese definitely uses the limb stiff. <laughs> Which variant? How many, how many additional letters in front of limbs are there in this case? Uh, just the just the base linear motion battle system, of course. Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. Hop, hopping on just to say you're a bad person. It's a hop. No. <laughs> what is Paracelsus saying when he transforms? Uh, Paracelsus is saying, "Hold that." Actually, uh, yeah. Hold this. That's that's what's stated. Yeah, it's just saying. And actually, well, wait. Unless it's, it's the transforming yeah, back, in which case it's back. back. <laughs> it's the wholeness, just not in the same way. Heaven or hell, okay. Here we go. Hideki Naganuma is fly like a butterfly versus Nuclear Cheese. Alright, gets the first, but Ride camping out of the corner. Alright, both players down to burst, but Tails having all the meter in the world to work with now. Oh, two ages right out three. of that ring. That's, That's a really tight timing, I think. Yeah, but Nuclear Cheese absolutely has it, and is rewarded with bad sidewinder for it. But, Tails getting the butterfly pressured, lost the dead angle. Now we're back to mid-screen with Tails with a pretty healthy life lead. We get caught with a bandit, sidewinder, sidewinder again. Tails gets a chance to do anything, they have a ton of meter, but that may not happen, and it will not. Was that Grand Viper under a dead angle? I think it was. It seems like it, but... Cheese is a master of knowing exactly what he can get away with, you know, in in, very, in terms of positioning with Grand Viper. Like, he knows what he can go under, he knows what it's going to be, how he can use it as a, as a way to get out. Yeah. Oh, oh, and the air out of the burst! That's Ooh. a heavy call out. Auto Guard Super is blocked, and it will be heavily punished. Back yeah. there, time to hit. Volcanic Viper out of the air, Dad. Not interested by the tail escape. Nice back dash in the gun plan, though. Long road to back for tails here, but all it's got to start somewhere. Jeez, not even interested in letting up on the pressure for an instant. Riot Stamp RC Grand Viper, that should do it. Cheese is consistent. Tails has beaten Cheese uh, a number of times at this point. I think on the winner side of the bracket. I think I think twice. I just realized I didn't update the scores, which kind of proves my point earlier, by the way. Um, but I think Cheese has consistently had Tails' number in on loser's side. Uh, so I'm curious to see if Tails can turn it around here. Yeah, loser's bracket nuclear cheese is a force to be reckoned with. Oh like, yeah, terrifying. Playing against a player this scary and this aggressive with the your tournament life on the line, like I wouldn't wish that on anyone. He is the biggest and wrinkliest brain! <laughs> Cheese has years of fighting game wisdom that somehow also resemble completely not giving a shit about anything. Oh, the run-up wild throw is avoided. Nice block on the Volcanic Viper. This is a great opportunity for Tail. With the butterfly is Grand Viper underneath. Sidewinder, Luke. How clean those hits are, but... Bandit Revolver takes back to mid three. See what I'm saying? Knows! Knows where to use that Night Raid Vortex. Exactly the window for Grand Viper to get maximum value. All of the meter for every player. <gasps> Check that. Oh, that could have been Force Rake. Top super. Wake up Tyrant Rave. 
I think he tried to auto guard through it. Yeah, almost certainly tried to do an auto guard super of some oh, kind out of that. Flashback. Yeah. Oh yeah, slashback pirate rave. Everyone, you could you practice can, what they preach. You could hit it out with something like a like a really low two D or everything, but it's kind of like how Souls two D also I, gets a map over the ground. No follow up. Two to the five D. The orb overhead. All right. Here comes. Here comes Tails, but gets Volcanic Viper and stop the momentum. And... Bandit. Ow! Oh, Tex right into the Bandit Revolver. Yeah, Puddle. nice little reset there. That was smart. Oh, and this clean hit Sidewinder. You are dead. Uh-uh. Damn. Clear Cheese bringing the heat. Vicky's talking about how she wants the run back on Skeletal, but I think Cheese has something to say about it first. Yeah. Cheese has a run back of his own in mind, it would appear. That is just a stone for raiding us for the party yeah. of 10 people. Yeah, thanks, hey. Stone. Yeah. See you again in the bracket again next week. Yeah. Seven so, viewers, top three. Close. Yeah, indeed. Top three. We got Clear Cheese versus Vicky Viper for the honor of running this thing back against Skeletal Minion. This will be three out of five. And this will be a should be one humdinger of a match. I believe I was in a match when um, the these two previously played. If they did, so I am very excited to see this. Yes, Vicky was the one to knock Skeletal to, or um, Cheese to losers, losers, I believe. All right. We have a lot of Soul Kai this evening, which is great. So Vicky is indeed in there, and oh, the JPs to beat the greats that are round star. Nice. Uh, Vicky, Vicky was the one to knock Nuclear Cheese to losers, so uh, it'll be exciting to see if Nuclear Cheese is uh, adjusted. Counter hit right <laughs> and the Sidewinder. Does a pile of damage. Uh, right stamp again, just from a mile away. Mm -hmm. The burst to not get looped by that wall bound. Riot Stamp, one of those moves where you look at it and you're like, I should be able to 6P this on command at all times, but uh... Ooh, but the much seal, harder. That little lightning steal blew Ooh, up the timer rave, but it does not matter. Viper into the, the Sidewinder loops. Sidewinder loops are so smooth. Hey, yeah, Vapor Thrust lifts and gets punished with the 5k. Drops the loops. So bad guy, <laughs> run a Volcanic Viper. Gunplay, Moki. Ooh, Vapor Thrust is Love it. Other Vapor Thrust. Stick to that wall. What a combo. Doing those optimal Kai calls. Oh, dead angles out. But gets caught by that lightning Ooh. steel. So it doesn't get as favorable in position. Takes a burst. Nuclear Cheese and a sizable health lead. Volcanic Vipers through the fourth break. Greet Seven. Ooh, Ooh good air throw. Throw by Vicky from position. Another Volcanic Viper. Right no right Nice air to air. Oh, nice RTL. <laughs> oh, Doesn't button greed that pushes second. him past the greed sever, and Nuclear Cheese takes the first game over Vicky Viper. Please, uh, just avoiding that whole and situation. And I believe this is three out of five because this is a losers finals. Indeed. This is indeed three out of five. Thank you again, folks, for tuning in. It's great to see all you in the chat. 69 viewers, according to Streamlabs. All right. Let's go. All right. <laughs> this is the uh, perfect amount of viewers. Right. Nobody else so. raid or tell their friends, except please do exactly that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, preferably tell roughly 350 of your friends. Yeah. Nice. Oh, good first throw. Uh, I've talked to Nuclear Cheese about it quite a few times. He never means to do those. Jump H just... Grab bursts. Jump H yeah. is good, man. <laughs> <laughs> but it always makes it look like the Ooh, Greed's the biggest man. genius, so. Oh, gets tagged. Is this gonna be. Nope. Uh, uh, but but the Greed's never connect. Uh, had a pretty large life lead. Alright. Blocks the wake up. <laughs> Alright, good use of uh, lightning spear. Uh, follow up goes over to 6 Alright, nice air to air with a follow up. Using the lightning seal too to catch the tag. I love it. I think he brought it back. Oh, oh but get tagged with the Grand Viper. You may, yeah, that's a clean Ooh, hit. You're dead. Nuclear Cheese uh, takes the round. Ooh, but still, heck of a heck of a performance by Vicky there. Definitely still plenty alive. Absolutely. Oh, but oh, the counter hit. Misses the clean hit. Nice 2H. 
That's a, another drop combo. Ooh, force break greet or force break uh, greet saber. Nothing after it. Oh, get caught out of the air. Gets a knockdown. Oh, knockdown in the corner. Ooh, Great air by Vicky bro. again. Both these players swing. <laughs> and on point with the air throw. Absolutely. Oh, that would have been a really cool pickup off that air life. Yeah, it would have. Vicky Viper at a large life lead. Wake up 5k. It's only 3 no frames. Ooh. First wants this round. Come and the lightning the light. spear will secure it. Absolutely. Vicky Viper taking the round. Uh, Alright. Next round takes the game. Right, nice throw. How things can start. Good throw. Back right. after the 3A. Throwing up Not punished. Pressure. Oh, she's cornered himself, but but he doesn't. Uh, but that never seems to matter from. Oh, yeah. boom! Hit yeah, Riot Stamp into the Sidewinder. Yep, Riot Stamp faster. The closer the closer Soul is to the corner, I believe it's 14 if he is in the corner. Oh, not as much of a punish on that volcanic sniper as you would like. Boom headshot. And here, boom headshot. <laughs> the air-to-air -air counter hit. But he's still alive, but Ooh, block break the block. block. Back to the pirate ray. Volcanic Viper. Ooh, definitely looks like it's supposed to be a throw or something. Yeah, what even is going on? All right, Vicky, just trying to reset position here and get the knockdown. This could be it. No, oh, oh reversal, reverse pirate ray. My Nuclear my guess with that Grand up? Viper right there, by the way, what that looked to me. Uh, that I read that not as a missed throw or anything, but as Vicky anticipated the RC the way that she's had been doing it all the previous times. Yeah, um, and, it, and she just chose to let it I rock that time around because it had the 50 bar. Because that's yeah. what in my brain I was like, oh, let me check how much bar does he have because he can RC it. <laughs> so so went for the when he's been RCing and instead she's just let it rock. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're getting that Vortex and pin it on. trying to pick all your orders for the mix. <laughs> Boom headshot. <laughs> Boom headshot. Yeah, Boom headshot. Back to the old tricks. Look at all that damage. Box Bandit. Absolutely. Nuclear Go! Oh, oh, Marty, but another but solid air throw. Vicky's right been on point with those air throws. Absolutely. Sure, Gonna need a lot more oh. than that. Grand Viper is good burst. Uh, if you burst the Grand Viper, you you are able to punish it if he doesn't arc it. Ooh, jumps over the camera, nice. Rave. Throw out of that, too. Vicky does not want to deal with uh, Nuclear Jesus bullshit. Oh, tries to avoid that, but gets caught by the cross up anyway. Well, unfortunately, wow, bro, you are so much of the bullshit. <laughs> uh, Nuclear Jesus now one round away from taking it over Vicky Viper. Ooh, a flash Great with the <laughs> Gets hit out of the start of three ever. He gets the early knockdown. Faster. Super. Force break Kyrie and get the first. Whoa, the, the air throw tech. That was rad. Hell yeah. Both these players. The throw game exactly equally where, on. This is where Vicky wants to be. It's lightning spear. Vapor thrust follow up. Rad combo. Oh! DD the green sever. Yeah, stops made it look like maybe if, if DP was getting baited, then run right into it anyway. Ooh, counter hit gunflame, and this is gonna hurt. Boom headshot. Just just the one, but one more hit. Yeah, anything will do it. Nice, nice good off the air there. Putting that lightning spear out. Oh! oh cool, and Nuclear G takes it over Vicky Viper. Dang. Whew. Again, like, it's a real case of one of those 3 0 close those. So, like, you know, Vicky was definitely uh, making 3 big 1 3 I 1 think. close, though. Wait, was it? Don't remember. Think Everything think happened so fast. No, maybe it was 3 0. But that's the thing. Like, I Vicky, was, the second, yeah, Vicky was no, running things out. I don't think they, they ever. Did bad. they ever switch of, sides? I don't believe so. Yeah, oh, yeah oh, Vicky well, kept making know. things happen and, like, coming so close in all of those rounds. But she's just, like, Broke the knob off and <laughs> finished what had to be done. That was a sick set, though. Except as way more exciting than the scoreboard record will make it look. But here we are again. <laughs> here we are back at the Skeletal Minion Nuclear Cheese Grand Finals. I mean, watching these players play is a blast, so. <laughs> Absolutely. 100% here for it. Get Skelpa back in here.
Yeah, still, no, that was definitely, yeah, 3-0 close, though, but, like, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1. But, like, actually. Yeah. 3-0 close. Vicky tapped though. out, yeah. Well, when cheese puts you in the tyrant rave, brother! Yeah. Something, I don't know. When you add Wild Thor to the mix. Wait, when you add oh, to the mix! <laughs> <laughs> but here we are, ABBA versus, uh, versus Soul Bad Guy. <sighs> I mean, we've seen this plenty of times before, and I mean... Cheese has what it takes, but... Yeah, oh, well. Strong start. He's one not knockdown one already. He's not one of, one of these grand finals yet, but you can never count him out. Two knockdowns. Another knockdown. Gonna have to... Oh, yes, gonna have to is. transform back. Chugging well that navigated. Volcanic Viper. Ooh, get a well, combo. Boom headshot. I wonder. Which side? Volcanic Viper knockdown. Look at that damage. Following it up. Not letting Skeletal Minion breathe. He gets the force rate dash. And... Done. Wow. Nuclear Cheese takes the first round with a commanding life lead. Yeah, just a well navigated that Maroha transformation very well. Or Skeletal to use all those blood packs and then. Absolutely. Ooh, counter hit Bandit Bringer, but not much damage off it. Cheese is swinging, Popla. Yeah. When is Cheese not swinging? Yeah, Skeletal does Ooh, quite any air that, that Bandit Bringer and pays for it hard. On a wild throw. Here's the wild throw. Wow, what a clash. Absolutely. Grand Viper, but first oh, hit. First the last hit. Doesn't Good get first, a punish. She's a huge life lead here. And with uh, full meter, so you can expect the Tyrant Rage. <laughs> I, but I, Skeletal Minion was expecting that Tyrant Rage. I don't have words. I don't know what happened there. Oh, but that was... Ooh, trades with Goku Maroha, but that video. is one knockdown already, and another knockdown! Video game. And a third! You're dead! Oh, there it is. <laughs> Nuclear Cheese takes the first game. Also, my entire brain and thought process. Three knockdowns on Goku Maroha. Bang, bang, bang. And then finish that game. Beautiful stuff by Cheese. Yeah, I don't know how the backwards Tyrant Rave worked. That was, that was wild. I imagine that I, it was I um think the force I've break like other... slide through move that Abba no, does. Th no, that was mid that was mid Rekka. I've seen oh, okay. it a bit before. I think her hurt box disappears or like her collision box disappears or something. They just went <laughs> through each other. Cheese is hacking. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese has that game shark plugged into his uh, arcade stick. Oh yeah. Doing sidewinder loops for him and pumping him full of serotonin. That all clean hit pod is called. Alright. <laughs> nice, that should be a knockdown, so that's another. Know. Some of these hits feel pretty dirty. Grand Viper RC hits with Fafnir. Not a knockdown, though. Still big damage. A good burst by Cheese. Again, in a commanding life lead, but just one hit from Abba and it could all go away. Yep. First to Grand Viper. Grand Viper takes the trade. Oh, and there's good the Goku Roma. Locked. Plus seven on block. Right. Oh, Chuck was right, Sam. And this, this is going to be a pile of damage. There's plenty of meter on Cheese's side, if he'll even get an opportunity to use it. And suddenly, Abba has the health advantage. Yeah, there's that speed. command dash through Tyrant Rift. He's back into Maroha, and uh, Skeletal takes it. Fantastic stuff. Really ready for the reverse of Super and the Cheese Breaks to the table, for sure. I got Volcanic Viper round start. Well, that's something. That's Love it. That's nuclear Dodges the, Dodges the round start, or the run up wild throw. Absolutely. Oh, Donzai. Hit by the Donzai. Look at that damage. Corner carry. Cheesed in the corner. Gets hit by, the, by that Abba Needs to get out of here somehow. This is the most patient I think I've seen Cheese play in a long time. Ooh, dodges the wow. Goku Maroha. Gets the counter hit. Riot stamp. Getting mileage against Goku Maroha Maro activation. But Donzai. No. Another counter hit, another burst. Ooh, but this is gonna kill. Yeah, yeah you're dead. That's a, that is going to do it. Dang. Skeletal just keeping enough control. Looks like she, Cheese was starting to make things happen there at the end, but Skeletal's able to shut the door. Whew. What is that, 1-1? One, 1-1. One? One, one. Nazar, of course, is a reminder. Skeletal Minion still in winners, so Cheese still has a very, very long way to go. But... If anyone can do a cheese camp. Uh, if he's just gonna rattle off a bunch of wins in a row. Could be this one right here. What do we got for a round start? Backdash. 
gets it. But the Gunflame after the Fleet makes it not actually a knockdown. Oh, tries to get over the Dawn but does not. Good tag. But there's a knockdown for you. Goku activation. It's gonna... Oh. Oh my god. Dawn tries to get another burst. I don't think it's quite gonna kill, but it's gonna be close, and uh, I think it's gonna set up that unblockable. Nope, drops the combo. She's at one chance. Gold burst. Gets tagged by the six out of it. Nice backdash by Kelpo. And another. Ooh, Ooh air, any airs or air to airs out of the band. So tense. Anything will basically do it for Kelpo. Was that chip damage? You don't see that super very often. No. But it was exactly what, what Kelpo needed in that moment. Yup. Dust combo off the gun flame, and the transformation is successful. Donza uses the gun flame, and Mortar looks like looks like Skeletal may have just needed that that one first game to uh to download cheese. And I pay though, and a knockdown. One knockdown. Oh, one more. Ooh, it's almost it. Ooh, but he used the blood pack to transform. Back. Does not want to deal with it. Ooh, Ooh and it's gonna be another ball. transformation. Now we got a fresh farmer oh Yeah, very good stuff. Goku. And this this, should this be might just dead. kill. Yeah, this should be death. Yup. Impressive. Damn, that looked like um That looked like a a good, a good situation for Cheese there for a bit, but can't quite. Skeletal minion now, uh, one, one match. Game boy? Yeah. But Cheese, Cheese just gotta make this thing happen. Make Isn't something, make factor. some madness. Bring the wild. Make a miracle. Yeah, bring the wild, throw and otherwise. Make a miracle. Just gunplay pressure, but. Chucking that plasma. Great blocks by Skeletal, though. He gets out of the corner. And gets back into the corner. He gets caught with Baffner, Tyra Ray. He's now at a big life lead. Not letting yeah. Skeletal Minion start anything. Ooh, Ooh, there, is there is that start. Ooh, Ooh, no Moroha. Yeah, no Moroha activation off of it. Oh, Tyra Ray, but the two, but it doesn't quite get caught. Ooh, RC's the bandit, but doesn't. Finish a combo that will kill. Does not get the sidebinder. Oh, to attack him. Any hit will pretty much. There we go. Ride stamp back. gets it done. To say any hit will do it, but with that guard bar blinking, Cheese may have been on death door too. All right. Oh, and there's the there's the early Maraha, but uh, Cheese is still in this. Gets the burst. Trade. There's one, one knockdown down. already. Two knockdowns. Ah, uh, drop the uh, drop the side. The yeah, that would have been really neat, but now Goku is activated, the meter is refilled, and the damage is coming. Oh, and there's five the feet. Ooh, Drops the combo. One knockdown. Two knockdowns, even. Ooh, four strike no. Donzai. You're, you're just dead, aren't you? Yep. Dang. Alright, well, tournament point for Skeletal Minion. Red Star Park Flash. Fun up Volcanic Viper. Dealing with Absolutely. Can't you bring her into the into Volcanic Viper? I There's have special boost and I will no use love. Oh, another bait on that DP. The if I'm invincible, you can't early. mash out. Ooh, this is gonna be a pile of damage, though. Look at the red on that health bar. Good God. Oops. But that trade. Oh! First. You're, oh, this is the Grand Viper, and that's gonna be it. Yeah, you're. You are gonna die here. Dang. Skeletal Minion takes it over Nuclear Cheese. Yeah, gets the hit with the Grand Viper, but the burst is available, and that punishes all that Skeletal Minion was going to need. Yeah, that burst Grand Viper interaction is so unfortunate. Yeah. It was a it was a good call out in a way, like it was definitely the move that was gonna hit, but even hitting is not a good thing there. Well, I mean excellent stuff to Skeletal Minion. Absolutely, a great set as always.
And of course, to include cheese as well. Yeah, no, great. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure coming in and uh, I'm sure uh, a string of second places is not the most satisfying thing in the world for cheese, but like, can't argue with how sick those these performances have been. Yeah, no, great, great tournament. Uh, thanks everybody again for for showing up. Uh, thanks all the people who brought in raids. Uh, Cyborg, thanks for the subs that you were handing out earlier too. That was rad. Um, thanks to all our commentators, uh, Craig, uh, Tails, Flack. Always a pleasure to have you guys. Um, well, thanks for having us. And really appreciate any of the all the behind the scenes work you guys are doing too. Craig's updating brackets, and I know Flack, you and Tails are both checking in the chats and and keeping up. So I really appreciate that as well. Um, Craig, <laughs> already dropping the link uh, in the in the chat. Um, we are uh, unfortunately uh, in the Boston scene. We uh, suffered the loss of a beloved community member, uh, Henny, the bad guy, um, due to racial violence um, last week. Um, and uh, GoFundMe has been set up in his honor. You, you might have seen it making the rounds on Twitter already, but uh, we would uh, really appreciate it uh, if you can uh, hit that link uh, in the chat, uh, throw a couple bucks uh, the family's way. Um, uh, it's, it's a real shame, but it's, it, is, it is nice to see how the scene is kind of uh, has kind of come around to support everybody in that way um and i i i guess i'm gonna throw things back to the commentators one more time for a sign off but uh again thank you guys for tuning in um and i'm jmd and i'll catch you next week i am uh i am tail at tales of dawn 24 on twitter and i will catch you next week yeah, I hope to see you all next week after Frosty, and well, let's all uh, watch and play in that tournament together. Yeah. Yeah, definitely excited for a massive FLSR tournament this weekend at Frosty Fasting. Shout out to Elvin Shadow and everybody else who's making that thing happen. Yeah, and thank you all for stopping by. Hagar Craig, signing off. Alright, be excellent to each other, and uh, stay spicy, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>